So yeah. Hello, hello, people. We are doing another late night Star Effects. Um, this time we're doing Iron Man. Uh, honestly, it's probably about time that we actually got into doing the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Um, this is my favorite movie of 2008, easily. And I know The Dark Knight came out that same year, but I hate it. But well, I didn't hate that movie, but I don't love it as much of, as much as everybody else seems to. Sorry. I don't know. That was that you gave me a look and I was like, that is literally the Joker, and I'm now afraid for my life. <laughs> no. I, I, sorry, I messed up. That was my I wasn't me face. No, I know, but you gave just this really weird like look at the camera and smiles like I may be dead now. <laughs> now you're fine. <laughs> so um like I said, well, like I said, I mean, don't get me wrong. It's not Dark Knight is not a bad movie. I don't love it the way that everybody else seems to. So um so yeah what do you think about this movie what iron man yeah i liked it i don't really yeah. have strong don't opinions really on it. it i do well yeah this is 2008 so a long I time mean, ago at the time it was a fantastic uh comic based movie yeah. since then i feel like marvel has made better ones but since this was the first it was a solid starting point. Well, that's like mm -hmm. one of the most developed plots and character developments of all Marvel movies. Yeah. That's fair. Mm -hmm. it was also it's that scary. they didn't know that they were going to make an entire, an entire, you know, cinematic universe at this point. I mean, they had well, aspirations. I think, I think they had a vague idea that if Iron Man did well, they yeah. wanted to make it to Avengers. Bingo. I believe yes. that was the plan was to do Iron Man, do the Hulk again, Captain America, Thor, and Avengers. They had like yeah. the five movie plan. Yeah. And then when they started to do really well, obviously they're like, oh man, we can drag this out more. And yeah, they started yeah. to plan even farther. Well, I mean, because I know that they ori the original plan was let's just get to the Avengers and then we're happy. But they just made yeah. they make so much money, movie after movie yes. was bank and bank. So it's like, let's keep going. Hello, cat. This is Zeus. He doesn't come out and play often, so this is a rare sighting. Oh, I, I, I just all I see is a cat tail, so I wasn't. But sure notice how was. fluffy the cat tail is. That's how you know it's Zeus. Ah. Okay. So, all right, well, let's get into it. So, everybody, like, you know, since Disney owns this, like, Disney owns half of everything, uh, it is on obviously on Disney Plus. All right, so, anybody want to watch? Feel free. Uh, again, Iron Man. So, pull it up, everybody. Get ready to play. And, everybody, three, two, one, play. And, full disclosure, I haven't seen this movie in a long time, so. <laughs> I mean, it's. I've seen it since it, it's come out. Like, it hasn't been that long, but it's yeah. been a few years for me too. Yeah, yeah. So, well, I, I saw it. I think I, think I went twice. through. I think around Avengers two, I went through all the current. We went through all the current Marvel movies at the time. No, I did that with the when the first Avengers came out with my dad because he hadn't seen them all. So. Yeah, but like I said, this is easily my favorite movie of 2008. Honestly, I'd still say it's probably one of my favorite actual Marvel movies. Granted, you know, it does certainly show its age because they really didn't go all out with the digital effects like they did in later movies. But, I mean, don't get me wrong, there are still a lot of digital effects, but... No, it is a solid movie, and it is the best of all the Iron Man movies, yeah. that is for sure. I'm going to turn that down so we don't get a strike. So, but yeah, here, uh, I don't know where they shot this, but this feels like Backyard Nevada. If you feel like it's a backyard, it probably is. There's no yeah. way they shot it on site in Afghanistan. Well, obviously. I know what, California, it, it probably is. I mean, in the movie Warrior, they used suburbs of Pittsburgh to be Afghanistan somehow, so. <laughs> well, that's, that's the thing. Like, I mean, this could even be like Death Valley. You know, you just go there. There's not nothing there, so 
It's a very good possibility, I think, that it's probably somewhere like that in California. Just can you like sorry. Yeah. All right, thank you. Yeah, and I I love how He's just toying around with the soldiers, but I'm. But I feel like they'd have more. I feel like there would be more, you know, more troops around, and probably even a helicopter escort, considering oh God, who, you know, who this is so and where they are driving. Oh my God! Look, he's using an actual camera to take this photo. <laughs> yeah, I know. Military people actually have smartphones. Well, this was also 2008 when many people yeah. still didn't have smartphones in general. Yeah, and where they actually blew up a, well, obviously a fake Humvee, but still. Yeah. Is it funny if I find his hair, like, super dated? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what the heck that was, but that just blew through him, body armor, and the car door with little difficulty, yet didn't hit Tony Stark in any way. Yeah. So, but like I said, I'm pretty sure they would have, like, they would be, you know, they'd have helicopter escort or something. I don't think they'd just be driving him out. Oh, and then here we go. We're in a bomb with your literal name lands beside you. Talk about irony, bomb. Oh, that's the point. Yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah, a bomb like that exposed that close to you, you're dead. There is there, there is no oh I'm uh, I'm uh, here we go no you're dead period. Yeah, and he was wearing some kind of body armor, but apparently didn't not do nothing. Well, it probably helped a little bit. I'm sure he would definitely be dead if he hadn't been wearing it. Also, what I like is if you act, if you um if you are fluent in the language you're speaking right now, and I feel super ignorant for not knowing what it is, it actually does legit just ruin the whole t plot twist later in the movie. I'm not fluent in language, so I can't comment on that, but. I will take your word for it. It might be first. Yeah. But yeah, like yeah. people have said that when they've watched it in the countries, like, you know, the people that were familiar with it, since it is a real yeah. language, like it completely, they it's, they say it, we have Tony Stark and, you know, Obadiah, you owe us money. And it completely ruins the twist. Fair enough. Well, I mean, that does remind me of, um. I mean, it's good that they put it in, but it also is kind of like, you know, maybe they could have put it in like, you know, make it have a code name or something, but um, or like made it, it sound really like you were still hearing it from like Tony's point of view and have it be like buzzed out to the point where you couldn't make out what they were saying. Yeah, yeah, something like that would have been good. Yeah, we're but, like, uh, it does remind, it does remind me of um, to make out anything. Yeah, no, but that does remind me of um, in I think it was, I think I want to say it was Star Wars Return of the Jedi, I could be wrong. But I heard a story about how a you know a guy from a, like some African country was just working in the office, was working in an office where they had Star Wars playing in the background. He wasn't really paying attention, but he heard the but he heard you know people speaking his language. He's like, what? You know who's speaking my language? And uh, apparently the what because like there were other coworkers there with him. Apparently what the what was actually said is something like, hey, you guys over there, come here. So something that made sense, but was just. Oh, and here we got Rhodey, who was changed, who changed actors after this movie. Uh, do you, did you ever hear why they had to change actors? I didn't get a reason. I thought it was money. I thought he wanted more money. He thought he was a rock star. Yeah, this okay. dude had a big ego and wanted more money. He thought he was more. He thought he couldn't be replaced. Moreover, he said. Okay. That was yeah. So then they brought in Don Cheadle, who just. I mean, Don Cheadle just owns the role. Let's just be real. So um, that's kind of um, that's kind of unfortunate. It's like, dude, I appreciate that you know, obviously you want to have an ego, but seriously, you're not that big a part of that. They're not going to replace you. <laughs> like, I can understand wanting like a bigger check for reasons, but when it's just oh, because your ego and you think you're worth more, it's like, yeah. 
Yeah. I do. I do love that Tony Stark is just complete playboy. He's basically. Yeah. Although I'm pretty sure they wouldn't. He wouldn't be so much a playboy that it would be out in the casino instead of accepting his own award. So. No, I believe that he wouldn't go to his own thing. But I, I'm more surprised that like. He doesn't have a like. He managed to slip security and like Vegas cameras didn't catch where he was, yeah. so people can find him faster. That's what I'm more surprised about. Fair enough. Because look at how many people he has with him. How did he slip all of those? Yeah, no and those doubt. People, and nobody could get into security to like easily spot where Tony Stark is. Yeah, no doubt. So, and um. I'm very curious. Did they actually shoot that? Shoot that at Caesar Palace? I have to assume they did, but I, yeah, no, they. It's also I mean, like that's definitely Vegas. Well, I mean, yeah, well, I mean, here obviously is, but I mean, when they were inside, I was more of did they shoot this in the actual hotel or did they just rebuild the set? Because no, they, all they all, probably did because hotel. I think um even the Hangover, I think they filmed in parts of the lobby and stuff at Caesar's Palace. Yeah. So I would I, I would believe that this one was maybe the um like the table itself that close up scene may not have been yeah but well, like that, yeah, that lobby, lobby I believe was, probably was definitely best, shot um, on set but yeah a lot of it is like you know I almost think it would cost the casino more money to shut down and let a movie to let the movie do to filming but that's just it isn't it movie. if you're gonna lose X amount of money to shut down you're gonna charge them enough to make up for it yeah yeah. But I mean, but the reason I say that is because, like, all in all, it's not that hard to, you know, recreate a set like that. You could easily just have a scout go out, take some pictures, and then congratulations, you got everything you need. And it, I but think I mean, if they're already filming in Vegas, yeah, and it's in the well, budget, like, why not? Yeah, yeah, that's that's the thing where it's this is one of those things where it's like, okay, it's a cost, it's a cost thing of like which, and these two just going at it like freaking jackrabbits, cheese and crackers. Um, but I, but still, it's like, I feel like it would be cheaper just to, you know, rebuild the set versus. Is it? Actually, I mean, you know, how much does it go into to build a set, take the time to do it only to tear it down again, especially like depending on where your schedule has you for filming, like it might actually be cheaper and more economical to just rent out the lobby. I don't know. I don't think it's as expensive as you think it is. I don't know. When it comes to lost revenue, who knows? I mean, it's just, it's just, I just think back to when I, when I did, you know, high school movies and stuff like that. A lot of it is just, okay, where can we go that looks appropriate and is super cheap? And it's not no, that I, hard. As right. I mean, like, I, am I very limited, super limited? movie experience participation as a background in Jay and Silent Bob reboot. <laughs> I a hundred percent agree that that's what happens, mm. but no. I'm also saying that in a movie with this kind of budget, when they're already in Vegas, they've obviously like are filming in front of the place. I don't think it's that far of a stretch that they've rented out the lobby for a day to get the yeah. shots. They need. That's also like, would it take literally just a day? Because there's a lot that goes into uh, make you know just specific scenes. You know, you got you know. Okay, what happened? He walked through and he handed the thing to guys taking pictures. That could have been a half day of filming, depending on how many takes it took. And like I said, the close up shot of him at the table that could have been filmed anywhere. Yeah, yeah. The close up, I'm positive, is shot. In the studio. Uh, I What I like in the back, if you look back, you can see that she does like a display thing on glass. That technology, we almost have that technology today. I mean, I think they're actually, because like they have like keyboards where you don't actually have a keyboard. You know, you just, it's just like a laser thing that you just type on that just prevent, prevent, portrays. When Minority the, Report the, came out and they were doing the, the touch screen there, I thought yeah. that was real technology he was using even then. And that movie is even <laughs> older. Well, yeah, what I really appreciate about that is someone sat down and you know, actually figured out, okay, how would a system like this work versus what happens in the later, which happens, which especially in Iron Man 2, where it's just 
there is no rhyme or reason to what you are doing. It makes no sense. And I mean, Mike, obviously, it's just the actor acting as it's literally just him doing stuff to nothing. But with Minority Report, it looks like, okay, this is a real system that actually makes sense. But in this movie, a little bit, but in especially in the later movies, it's just this particular, this particular so action, you know, it's like he snaps and points to the left. And the model oh. rotates and realigns vertically. It's like, oh, that makes sense. Oh, there are your dogs. Someone's walking they want, to get in on, they want to get on the movie. Oh, <laughs> even better. My husband was going to take the dogs up to use the bathroom. But it was time just when he was opening the door, somebody was making a delivery. Yeah. <laughs> nice. the dogs off. Yeah. That'll do it. Oh man, Tony Stark looks so young. I know, I know. This is uh, <laughs> every time I see like a Hollywood, you know, anybody with a sports car like that, I always just assume, you know, there had to have been at least an hour where they just drove that thing up and down, you know, just completely, you know, for I mean, not for the sake of the movie, just because it's like this is a really fast sports car. Let's go. Probably. And that private jet, oh, it's, I don't, I mean, that's an, obviously a real jet, but I feel like, you know, they just snazzed it up a little too much. And I think they probably just could have bought an actual, like, go with an actual jet. Because it, it feels a little, like the double tail fins is just, that doesn't serve a purpose on a private jet like this. <laughs> so... And obviously, it does need to be pointed out, uh, not actual, not actually a plane because it's a little too big in, on the interior, which is something that you always see in movies where it's like, oh yeah, yeah the the scene, you can't have things actual size because you can't get the the camera crew in there. I like it's just a yeah, lot. Yeah. moment. Well, I mean, the worst example I can think of is um, the Breaking Brady Bad with movie. the RV. Yeah, oh, that's a bad one too. But no, I was saying the Brady Bunch movie. Where they're literally having an entire song and dance through the aisles of a plane. It's like, no, not no, that doesn't work. And here they are. I feel like this is the I what did they actually go to like an actual military base or something like this? I don't know. I know that in Michael Bay they probably would. Well, I mean, if they're in they California or Nevada, I'm sure there may be yeah, um, well, there are plenty of plenty of bases out there. Exactly, so they may have. Yeah, but I mean, that, but that's one thing. Like, like I said, I know for certain if it were Michael Bay, they would have been allowed to do it because Michael Bay is one of the few people who can get a literal B two bomber as background in his shot. And it's like, dude, I envy you. <laughs> I mean, granted, Michael Bay is also very meticulous. I mean, I've also heard of the Bay Memo, which I don't know. Have you ever heard of the Bay Memo? The Michael Bay Memo? Probably not. Oh, I'm sorry. I was looking up where was Iron Man filmed. Oh. And uh, no. it's mostly in California, except for one scene, which was filmed in Las Vegas. Okay. So, yeah. So, well, Grant, now it's like, what scene? No, but anyway. Uh, but yeah, I like I said, um, the what the Michael Bay memo is is that at a production company he worked for way back when I don't remember what com what company it was. They had a memo of you know what if you ever work on a movie with Michael Bay, if you see you know if there's a water bottle, even if it's just have even if it's just been opened but not had a drink taken out of it, pick it up because he will go completely ape blank on anything. He's very, very meticulous about stuff like that. So oh, they did film at a base for that scene. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Yeah, and he and they have this whole and that's a, so, I mean seriously, you want to talk about dating this movie? That phone. Look at that phone. Because seriously, yeah. that's supposed to be a rich guy phone that only he would have, and now everybody has phones like this nowadays, which yeah, are it's better. Phone, it's bad. like a it's one of the swipe. Like it still has a keyboard on it for crying out loud. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like I said, it's like those. That's what they. That's what they had back then, and nowadays everybody has a phone like this. <laughs> so, oh man. 
Oh my gosh, everybody's texting me now. Oh, my younger brother. <laughs> oh man, that's um, as most people know, it is my birthday on this Sunday, March 14th. Yes, Pi Day. I've I'm freaking got that every five minutes in high school. But um, but because it's my birthday, my family's sending texts messages about what are we gonna do what are we blah 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 blah, blah. so uh yeah ow you just got through surgery i'm a little bit surprised you're moving at all especially without pain pills yeah no doubt ouch yeah no that's that would hurt uh, uh, like yeah thank you for speaking up now Um, and he's got the, I know they had this in, or at least I'm not sure if it was the, exactly this set up in the comics, but yeah, <laughs> but I do know that he had a magnet to keep the shrapnel away from his heart because if they let it go, it just go into his heart, which is something I'll get into a little bit which is another thing I have a little bit of an issue with that I'll get into as we get on with this movie. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like I said, he was way weird that when he was literally about, oh gosh, maybe 12 yards from an exploding device. Yeah. I don't, I don't, he's not living. He's not in one piece. His uh, one arm would be over there. His head might be over there. And if you're lucky, you might have enough of them to make an actual bat cast for a funeral, but still. Yeah. And Robert Downey Jr. just obviously owns this role. I mean, seriously. he uh, uh, Can anybody think of another actor who would do better as Tony Stark? I can't think of any. I mean, even in the comics, he looks appropriate, so... He was also a recovering alcoholic at the time, just like Tony Stark. Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Which reminds me, I did hear a story. I don't know if this is true or not. I don't think it's true because I don't think he's that much of an asshole. But I heard there was a story about how uh, he saw a kid in an Iron Man costume and just made him made the kid cry because the costume wasn't good enough. I don't think that's real. I don't believe so because I don't think... Robert Downey Jr. is that much an asshole to dig into a little kid's costume. So I can think of some people who are, but I don't think Robert Downey Jr. is one of them. Yeah. Thank you for translating. <laughs> and thankfully, this guy realizes that he needs a translator too, so it's super good that they have one on hand. Yeah. And they and yeah, now it's like you're being co-opted to make us weapons and yeah, waterboarding. Right? Well, that's not actual waterboarding, but. <laughs> Yeah. And uh, what always gets me is that you see stuff like that. That reminds me, I know for certain that in a, I think it was one of the Jaws movies, they had a, an actress whose job was to, basically what they would do is pour water in her mouth to get the sound of drowning. It's like, they literally waterboarded that person to get the, to, for the movie. Seriously, think about that. Fun. Yeah. Yeah. In in other play, in other countries, it's considered torture. Here, it's it's a freaking career opportunity. Which, granted, obviously they wouldn't do it for long enough to actually be like, "Oh God, I'm," you know. I mean, it would be miserable, but you're going to be paid well, obviously. So, at least I hope. Yeah, and this is super inappropriate. It's like I gotta just carry this battery around everywhere I go because if I die, right. <laughs> that would be super miserable. They're not gonna set me free. 
Yeah. Yeah, they won't. Yep. <laughs> yep. And yeah, I got what I want. But what gets me is that you'll start we'll start watching. It's like he's gonna be allowed to make everything without any supervision. Um seriously? You think they'd have someone there watch it's like, no, that's obviously not what you're making. So your life's work in the hands of those murderers. And that's and that bugs me. Uh, why would you have a fire inside a cave? Because the smoke would just build up inside the cave, and you have to leave because of all the smoke. Oh, yeah. Up. You need a ventilation, ventilation yeah. system. Yeah. Which is something that always gets me, where like in video games and stuff like that, it's like they have an entire forge and smelter in the basement of a building. It's like, um, where's that smoke going to escape to? You need a vent. <laughs> Uh, I, mean, obvi- I mean, obviously, what it is in the movie is just a gaslit clean. But where did he get a hat? Some some terrorist just decided, yo, here, have a hat. <laughs> and so, but yeah, I'm talking seriously, the irony on this is just amazing. Where it's like. You know, yeah, you, you know, a literal bomb with your name on it lands beside you. Irony, man. Which, uh, yes, that is a meme. I am aware. <laughs> yeah. uh, and that also bugs me. It's like, I don't think the guidance system on a bomb is that big. Because he pulls out this, you know, cylinder that's at least a yard long. And it's like, that's not, I don't think it, you need that much for a guidance system. I mean, obviously, I don't know. I honestly don't know exactly for certain what all is in there, but you think you want most of it being, you know, the actual explosive. Yeah. Don't need that. Yeah. And I honestly don't know if you need a palladium for a, or I think it's a palladium. For an actual warhead, you banked? I don't know. I'm not a technological expert. But again, it's like he's being allowed to make this, yet no one is overseeing what he's doing. No, they're just watching him on the video. That, that That's bugs how they're me. They're seeing I, him. Yeah, uh, and I don't think he'd be. <laughs> oh, okay, there was a strap on it. I thought for a second he was hoisting the car battery by the cords, I, but no, there was an actual strap. Okay, I, I withdraw that comment. You're not going to, like, sand that down to make it get all the bumps and imperfections out? Yeah. Which, mind you, considering where he is, maybe he doesn't have to, but yeah, that is Yeah, is that's true, too. Maybe he, because he is kind of just using rough Whatever he has around. Yeah. But. Or it reminds me of um in a Mythbusters episode where Adam is making something. It's like what I wouldn't give to have a workbench right now. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. And it glows. It's a miniaturized arc reactor, which I don't know. Did they ever actually expl- explain what the arc reactor does and how it works? Because I don't think they did. Um, I don't know if they do it in the They comics. might in this movie because, I mean, that's kind of the whole plot. Yeah. <laughs> is the arc I mean, reactor. I'm not mind you, obviously, it is something that you could just go, you know, techno magic. Here you go. So, or that could be it too, because he just said that it's what powers his uh, uh, plant back at home. So maybe that's all they say yeah. about it is that it's a power source. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, just you know, just okay. Tech, techno babble it, and we're good. Um, which, mind you, a lot of time, like especially in Star, like Star Trek, especially does that horribly, where it's like 
blah, 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 blah. It's like, you do realize if you actually were to do exactly what you just said, when you brought that ship back to the starport, assuming it made it back there, uh, you're going to have to completely retool the ship. It's like, we're going to reverse the polarity of the ship. It's like, uh, you do realize if you actually did that, you'd have to, you know, that's going to take a long time in, you know, to fix. Oh, stop it. No, you just got to rewire it, swap the wires out. It's fine. Yeah, you think. Although the worst, the worst about it is it where uh, I remember it's like you know take take all the power you can. If you have to take the power from light support to do it, and then you know Worf does something. It's like done. It's like that. What button does that? Because seriously, don't lean on that button. <laughs> yeah. And here is just being allowed to play a game. They're working. Yeah. They're like the worst managers ever, or they're the best managers ever, depending on how you want to look at it. <laughs> they just let your workers do and carry on. Yeah. They're not micromanaging. It's fine. Yeah. They also have no idea what they're doing, though, so they're yeah. that makes them a bad manager. Yeah. Yeah. You, uh, you're supposed to be as if you're a manager. Like when I was an assistant manager. You kind of want to be aware of what your what the people below you are doing because if you don't, guess what? Here's what they're doing. They're on their phone and not paying attention to your job. Yeah, and here, it, yeah, they're going. It's like oh, it doesn't look like any of the picture. Maybe it's been modified. Uh, go in and talk to the guy. Seriously, make him make it the way you want him to. It's obvious he's not making the thing the way you want. Yeah, yeah here, why does he have this mechanism hooked suit. up to his leg? What does that have to do with the Jericho missile? Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, here they come in and talk to him. <laughs> and you'd think in a hostage situation, they would actually want to micromanage what you're yeah. doing. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's like we see them playing a board game. It's like, I don't think they'd be doing that, but I don't, I mean, mind you, I don't know exactly what the terrorist uh, protocol is for capturing a civilian, but considering that there are videos of them literally beheading people online, I don't think allowing them to play a board game would be a thing. You're, yeah. Mind you, I can understand them being like, okay, we'll let you, you know, we'll let you get away with the arc reactor because it's a lot more convenient to have that in your to carry that around versus the car battery. So I can yeah, understand but on the other hand, too, he used a lot of their resources, like to do it. Yeah, fair enough. That is They're gonna point. kill him anyway. I that is don't think they'd be that happy about going through as many bombs as it took that he needed for the palladium. To build yeah. it. Well, it's like how much palladium they need to big it though too is another thing. So which they did yeah. say at one yeah, point when he pulled out the palladium in the first one, he probably listed up yeah. how many more they yeah. needed. Yeah. Why have you failed me? <laughs> We're working. Oh shut up. <laughs> Yeah, I let you live. This is how you repay me. Yeah. Yep. And this. Uh, they pulled, they have a, I think it's like they pull like a screw or something out of a fire, like that little fire. I don't think that little fire could get a screw that hot. Because that's not a big fire. I don't think it'd be, I don't think they could. Mind you, I know they would. You know, a terrorist would easily do this. <laughs> yeah, there it is. <laughs> uh, another thing I should mention: I'm looking at the guns. They're clearly using like American-style rifles. When you think they'd be using like more AK 47s and stuff like that. 
I did, I did. But they're using they all of Stark industry one. things, which are yeah. all American. So yeah, yeah, that is true. Yeah, and here we got. I don't know. Have you ever heard of the TV show Forged in Fire? What? No, have you ever heard of the TV show Forged in Fire? Yeah, we've watched a couple episodes on Netflix. Yeah. yeah, but that's something where it's like you see him just go into town on a hammer. It's like, you know, yeah, it, it, to really move the metal, you really got to hit that. Especially to draw it out that thin. Yeah, no doubt. Or he probably just used prefab yeah. sheet metal and just bent it. Into uh, uh, well, yeah. Yeah. But it reminds me of one of my favorite quotes is they have this big, massive guy who's holding a hammer that it comparatively looks like it's a, di- a tiny hammer, but it's actually the biggest hammer they have. But it's like, is it? Is he? Is that a, just a really? Is he just a really big guy, or is that just a small hammer? It's like, oh, you know, he's just a big guy. Yeah, here. Uh, I love. I do love the suit design because it does feel like an actual suit that would be that you could make, but I don't think it'd be as responsive as what they show it because i mean in reality they're you know trying to make start make make start make suits like that but it's you know it's pretty complex you gotta make sure the suit you know moves with the body and just doesn't decide to go oh i want to do this and then rip your arm off He's speaking Hungarian. <laughs> Not that oh, one. The, 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 yeah. 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 Thank God they didn't have a camera to see, noticing that they set up a flipping booby trap. Ouch. Yeah. And now, seriously. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, I don't know exactly what all what all do you need to program to make a suit like this, <laughs> and why does it take so long? I mean, that's probably the command that starts the program. I would yeah. think. Obviously, it's too short to be the program itself. Yeah. It has been way too long since I've taken a programming class, though. But it's like, what what technology in there is actually going through like that you need an an actual program like that to make? I can't think of anything. Yeah, it's like his Rambo moment. I appreciate it, but you wouldn't want to waste the ammo like that. Would the program be to run the power through the suit, maybe? Hmm... That's the I only thing it, I can maybe. think of is some kind of um yeah. okay, this this bugs me. It's like he's just spraying the bullets in the in the air. It's like, no, dude, shoot at the people. <laughs> yeah, you're dead now, buddy. Yeah. Program completed. Everybody's gonna regret it. <laughs> Where is he? I do love that they don't just rush in because it's like, okay, something happened. We don't know what, and we're afraid. <laughs> uh, does he have the helmet although, on yet? I, although I don't, I don't buy that they wouldn't be able to see exactly what's going on. Does he have the mobility in the suit to put the helmet on himself? I guess. <laughs> I guess he does. When did he put the helmet on? I don't know. We didn't actually see it. I, I think you're like highly a, doubt. Ouch, you uh, ouch. Ouch. Yeah, no, that that is one that I'm I think you're like a few seconds ahead of me, but what just happened is there's like where is he? Where is he? And then he literally swats two people away. It's like he snuck up to them. And so it just reminds me of um I'm not sure. Have you ever seen Yu-Gi-Oh abridged? Seen what? Yu-Gi-Oh abridged. No. No, uh, there's a scene where Tristan 
puts on a little suit of armor and goes sneaking around. So it's like, yeah, this suit of armor is perfect for sneaking around. So there's a clip in Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridged of like, yeah, that's the, you just hear like clang, clang, clang. Yeah, yeah, that's the wind. That's definitely the sound the wind makes. Uh, uh yeah, sorry, buddy. <laughs> Ow, you just got hurt. Ouch. Uh, ow. Mind you, I don't know how thick that armor is supposed to be, but I don't know if it'd be actually bulletproof. <laughs> the programming probably definitely um yeah. is well, for the program, uh, the program and, like, is mostly for and stuff it takes to yeah. to move that oh, yeah. suit. Because there's a gun no way he he definitely needs assistance to do any of this. Yeah. No, but the more the part that gets me is the guy walks up, literally shoots a gun point blank into the head. That's never gonna work. The bullet is gonna shatter and ricochet, and you're gonna hurt yourself. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They they didn't blow you away, and they just how leave did you here. You, how did either of you miss that close range? Yeah, no doubt. Although seriously, if you fired a rocket that close range, you'd probably end up hurting yourself too. Because rockets are big explosives, which is something that always gets me in movies where you'll see like. Like, uh, I, oh, what was that movie called? I don't remember what movie it's called, but there's a scene where a guy shoots an RPG and the RPG backfires and kills the guy who fired it. It's like not actually when it's going to happen. It happens yeah. in a few movies. Yeah. But I can't think of any specific one off the top of my head either. Yeah, I, it was a big action movie that came, it was like just before Expendables, I think. I don't, I, I, I think, I want to say it was called Red. But I could easily yeah, be wrong. Probably. But, yeah. yeah. I guess, I guess, it, I, all I know is in the trailer a lot of we see a, a scene of a guy shooting an RPG and the RPG backfire, and it's like, not actually what's going to happen. I mean, what I'm pretty sure, mind you, I don't know what would actually happen if you were to manage to shoot a bolt, an RPG as a flying. But I think what would actually happen is you just trigger the explosive mechanism early and you'd just shower yourself with molten metal. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. I do like how, I I do like that this is the first really clear shot we get of it, but I still think that they should have had other scenes. People like the game of it. Yeah. 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 Playing throwers. Although, yeah, this part, uh, a fifth caliber, no way that thing is bullet resistant to a fifth cal. No way. Fifth caliber bullets are the, like, the size of my thumb. They are huge, and they pack a huge amount of power. Yeah. There's no way that thing would be able to stand up to that, especially at that close range. Whee! Oh yeah, you got it. Uh, the part that I think it would be program, so hot to be in a suit of metal yeah, yeah. in the middle yeah. of fire like that. Yeah. It would be so hard to breathe too. Yeah, and no doubt. And here we go. This thing must have terrific airbags. Ow! You just hit the ground at ballistic trajectory. The suit is now gone. That thing must have very sweet airbags. Ow. Ow. Yeah. Yeah, that suit. And now air, he the just airbags crushed. must be sweet. Yeah. Because, <laughs> yeah, the suit has just been completely obliterated, and you're somehow not dead. Seriously, I that I want to know the airbags that thing had. Because seriously, yeah, Here, sand yeah. is not that soft to land in. Yeah, no doubt, it's coarse and rough and irritating, and it gets everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Helicopter. Yeah, I'll look at it out. How did he? How did he not hear two Apache helicopters fly? Or not Apache, those aren't Apache. I think they're Hueys. Um, But seriously, how did you not hear two Huey helicopters flying? Yeah, those are, those are Hueys. Those are Hueys. Okay. 
Can't believe they were still looking for him. Yeah. This long after. Uh, oh, but also the explosion. Yeah. They were like, what are you doing yeah, they, they were investigating the explosion. It's like, dude. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and uh, C-17, I love those planes. Those are amazing planes. I love them. <laughs> this is, I'm sorry. This is just me nerding out about all the military tech I'm seeing. <laughs> I, 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 I wish we had, like, a, you know, an SR-71 or something. Uh, I don't think they'd just have him sitting in a chair there or a wheelchair there. I'm pretty sure they would have actually had him in a seat of some kind, but still. <laughs> Well, they probably had the wheelchair. I'm sure he spent the majority of it in one of those seats. Yeah, but then that implies that they I'm got him out of the seat. I'm surprised would have put him in the wheelchair just to wheel him yeah. to the edge of the ramp, though. And yeah, not, yeah. yeah. That's, what I was just gonna, that's what I was just gonna say. Because if he was in a seat, that implies that he got out of the seat, moved over, sat in the wheelchair, wheeled him over for like a ten feet, maybe, and then he got out of the wheelchair again. Uh, and uh, Unless I will say, this are right here, to strap the wheelchair in like a handicap yeah. seat on a yeah. bus, which I don't. Yeah. Although, what I do love is like, uh, I want to, I want to get real food. Yes, I yes, that is exactly what you'd probably be doing because God only knows what he's been living on. So yeah, he's gonna want some real food. And here we see what company decided to shell out some money. It is the Burger King. <laughs> Or I guess we can't really see it yet, but I do know it is a yeah, yeah. There you go, Burger King. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know if you'd actually be able to call a press conference like that, you know, considering in that short notice. Oh, and here we see Agent Coulson his first appearance in the movies. So. Oh, uh, hold on. We have lost Marie. We have lost Marie. Pause the movie. Pause the movie. Uh, we have lost Marie. Pause, pause, pause. Error, error, error. Yeah. I, I did. <laughs> I, I don't yeah. even have my remote near me. Uh, sorry. Uh, I just saw you disappear. I was like, oh, crap. Uh, pause. Let's get you back on. <laughs> sorry. Um, oh, give me a minute. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> All right, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, okay, where are you at? Uh, 4416. Never mind. I'm 4419, so you're three seconds ahead of me. Okay. So let me know when you hit start, okay, and I'll one. count to three. Yeah. So start. One, two, three. Yep. No, so, not yeah. probably a little bit behind you, but it's okay. Yeah, well, look at that. Well, you you barely well, even noticed yeah. that I had yeah. disappeared. Well, it wasn't because it didn't because I was looking over at you as I was say as you were saying something, and then it pretty much just happened like that. So I mean, so there wasn't a lot of time, but still, yeah. And everybody, sit down, take a moment. Yep. I'm pretty sure they'd have chairs for the people like that. I don't think they'd just be sitting on the floor, but still. Um, I mean, yeah. you'd think. Yeah. I mean, I, you would maybe, think that they would have a chair for him and he'd be at a seated press conference given that he just came out of being a hostage. Like, why yeah. would you be making him stand? He literally just got off the – or did he call this? Maybe did it was two last minute. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, 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 was, I was just, uh, yeah. That, 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 that. I did think about that after I said everything, but yeah, yeah. And here he's like, yeah. Uh, my weapons have actually been killing our soldiers. I am, yeah. That would be quite a blow to find out. It's like I'm making these weapons for the United States military, but the problem is they're going overseas to people who are not our allies and being used against us. And that is why, yeah. effective immediately, I am shutting down the weapons manufacturer. That's, 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 that's,
And here we see his, uh, you know, co or uh, partner just like, nope, shut up, shut up, shut up, go away, shut up. Please. Oh. Oh. Yeah, now, now he's just complete damage control, damage control. Oh, shit, shit, shit. And it- oh, he has one of the uh, wheelie mobile things. I forget what they're called. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. It's like, what do you think this stock, our stock's going to drop? Optimistically, about 40 points. It's like, at minimum, yeah. Uh, Marie, you are frozen again. Ah, uh, dears. We, uh, I'm not going to pause it the re- pause this time, but we did just lose Marie, it looks like. Ah, <laughs> uh, dear. Hopefully she pops right back in like she did last time, but we'll see. I am messaging her now. Ah, uh, dears. Uh, internet does not like us today, it seems. Oh, uh, wait. There you are. Did you pause you it? Again. No, I didn't. Not that time. <laughs> Although I, I am going to point, I I am going to point out, um, there are two little win because uh, at the bottom of the B live, there are little windows about you know who who's on and stuff. I now have two windows of you, <laughs> so I was like, which window of you do I want to put in? <laughs> so mind you, they're both accurate. So I think she froze again. Oh my! Oh wait, I heard her. Never mind. <laughs> Two, I see two windows of myself as well. What happened? Uh, I don't know. Oh, there's one. Ah, oh, dear. Internet, internet, internet. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, Marie froze again, I think. Yeah. Marie, I think we froze again. Yep, there's the blue. There's the blue screen. All right. Um, Uh, technology is not fun. Although here, I don't know if Marie can hear us now, but here, this is a scene I've always wanted to break you. Um, we see him putting in a new arc reactor. Um, I'm pretty sure at this point he would have had the surgery to make sure to get rid of all the uh, rest of the shrapnel. Because seriously, I don't think you just sit there with that in you for wh- how long has it been? A day? A week? So. All right, I'm gonna. Uh, I'll leave it going um, for right now, even though it's just me. Um, I'm messing with Marie right now. We'll see what's going on with her. Up oh, there we go. Maybe. Fingers crossed that we get a stable connection now. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. Yeah. So uh, I didn't pause it again. I don't know. Did you? Wait, you did. No, I did not. Did not. No, no. Yeah, because right, right now, now Pepper at, is reaching in and doing yep, stuff in yep, his chest. Yeah, I'm right there too. No, but um, I'm All not right. sure if you heard what I said. But what I was saying is, at this point, 
I'm pretty sure he'd be having the surgery to remove all the metal pieces. I don't believe for a second that they that he would be, you know, have built a second reactor. Yeah. Uh, and also the fake chest that she's reaching into. <laughs> Yeah, I'm kind of surprised he didn't. Well, but he's also just kind of like, yeah, a do it yourself, yeah. I guess. I don't know. I feel like I would want to get doctors involved yeah. and uh, do this professionally as well. Yeah, no doubt. Because seriously, that is. Yeah. I seriously, you you call a doctor for that. You don't. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's nice that you have an assistant who can help you with that, but no, you call a doctor. <laughs> yeah, I do love this here. If you ever ask me to do anything like that again, up here. Just... Oh, we see some holographic design on the window there, which is just a little, that's a little obnoxious. We don't actually need that. Ah, Bree, we lost you again. Uh, F-22 and a Predator drone in the background. Actually, that's a Global Hawk drone in the background there. Super awesome. Okay, that one was just the camera, so she'll get reattached and we'll get you back in. <laughs> Ah, dears. Just issue after issue this week. I'm sorry, guys. So, uh, I'll let Marie join back in again. Assuming we don't just say screw this because seriously, this is getting kind of annoying. We've had, like, in the past, oh gosh, not even in the past hour. We've had like four mix-ups now, and this is really getting annoying. Uh, and there, that keyboard there, uh, don't buy that. <laughs> I do not buy that's a keyboard because it's just a bunch of random syllables, and none of it actually makes any sense. Like seriously, you think it'd be A B C D etc. or the QWERTY, you know, Q W A E R T etc. But no, it is just symbols and symbols upon symbols. Yeah. And here, this is a good, um, we were talking about, you know, what, you know, what the, you know, what movements would work for uh, something like that. Here, we, there we see, uh, you know, him like going through, it's like, yeah, what he's doing there actually makes sense. That make, you know, I could see that actually being a system that works versus what happens later. But still, a lot of times, but even then, it's like he spins it. And then it spins around of like four or five times, then it comes to a stop. That doesn't make any sense. You think it just continues spinning. Oh, they found it. They found the remains of the Iron Man suit. Which, considering it was decimated, I don't think they that it would be any good to you. But hey, considering that they were digging through it with shovels and not say, oh, I don't know, a metal detector, it's kind of a thing. Yeah, and here, here we see his little arm thing. 
I know that the, uh, that he named that arm thing. I don't remember what it what he actually named it. I'm uh, working on a boot there, <laughs> but uh, but kind of bugs me. You think of these things in the background that are like going up and down randomly. It's like what purpose do those serve? What actually, you know, what is that? <laughs> Oh, and oh, the flight test. I, I do love these. Yeah, this is hilarious. <laughs> yeah, and uh, his little camera, th his now arm thing is now a camera. <laughs> and welcome back again. Oh, this is that fixed not, it. Hopefully. So um, I didn't. I did not pause it again. So, yeah. That's a confession. Uh, yeah, you'd be dead. I do. I do love how the fire extinguisher after he crashes. Although I think I think I'm like two seconds behind you, but that's that's fine. Whatever. Yeah, here we see him touring around. It's like this is a little bit obnoxious. I don't see that actually being you know you actually being able to work at a hologram like that. Maybe, but I doubt it. VR, you care? Yeah. It's impressive that she's balancing the coffee cup on top of that box. Yeah, no doubt. I was just thinking that. <laughs> she's got a she's got like a tablet or something, a box, and then a coffee cup on top. I she's don't think there's that. anything actually in that coffee cup, and I think it's probably not to the top of that box. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Because because you because you see a lot of times it's not she's not holding it perfectly up she was kind of swaying it a little bit. Wow, dear. Ouch. I go. Uh, I wish I had that kind of water display in my house. That would be awesome. Uh huh. Here doesn't. Yeah, and here we see his buddy is also really good at piano. Which I'm curious, did the? And, oh, oh, what was that? I didn't. What kind of pizza is that? I, that wasn't a Pizza Hut logo. I wanted, did they make up a company, or did they actually shell out for a company to do that? Or no, it's probably made out. up. It looks pretty nondescript. Yeah, I, I didn't see. I didn't see what the title was. I know I, it wasn't any pizza company that I recognized. So it doesn't matter. We yeah, but that, but you know, they, earlier they had a Burger King, so that you'd think they could have gone with a pizza. Who knows? Maybe. Yeah. Uh, in this this part here, it's like um, I don't know what the majority of stocks Tony Stark has, but with a decision like shutting down all weapons, uh, that would be quite. I'm pretty sure the shareholders would be, you know, no, we're gonna, you know, they'd be saying something. Yeah, but I think that's the point is he owns the majority shares, so yeah. weight wise, he still I, has I think the kind of I think it, cause when he got up, I kind of got a glimpse. It looks like it said Ray's Pizza. I don't think that's an actual thing. Maybe in California. Who knows? Yeah, Ray's Pizza. Yep. <laughs> yep. Uh, you think why would you be doing a test like this among all your super expensive cars? Right? Yeah. <laughs> Why is your workshop garage the same as your car garage? Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, there you go. There really, you can afford a separation there. Yeah. You, but maybe you he's up. never really needed to, you know, work like this until now. And thus, maybe. he's just doing it the space he has. Yeah. But I still feel like you put something up, considering what happened earlier. <laughs> Yeah, like at least put don't. Yeah, doing this next to those expensive cars seems like a terrible idea. Move the cars outside at least, <laughs> right? Put them in storage for the day or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm actually curious. Would not the Audi. Yeah, it's the Audi. No, 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 not the Cobra. Yeah, see, that's why you don't do this in your garage. Although I'm very curious, if you were to, yeah, I don't think putting your hands up like that would stop you. I'm pretty sure you'd be going back then. Oh, jeez. 
I'm very curious, like, if you were to actually have thrusters on your hands and feet, how easy, how easy would it be to stabilize yourself? I don't think it'd be very... It'd be pretty difficult. I feel like it would be very difficult, and it would be... Yeah. A- so the part that really gets me is where he has his hands super to his side. No way, right. no. You'd have your hands out like this to be able to get to... Get the, you don't... Yeah, <laughs> I do love that. It's like this fire singer is about to spray. He's like, no! Yeah, here we go. Where he's got the full-on suit, and the tech. I do like what we see the the heads-up display that we see here because all the information that we're seeing it actually makes sense, and it feels like okay, this is actually conveying information, useful information to him. He doesn't need it at this time, but it's actually you know, but it's a useful system. It makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. And here's this. This is still like what Iron Man prototype, so it's mostly just the. Probably, there are so many moving parts on that suit. Yeah, no doubt. Well, just wait until we get into the suitcase suit from the second movie, which is just complete. Magic. Oh yeah, no, I know. <laughs> or the bracelet suit from Avengers. Mm, yeah, yeah. yeah. Jarvis, yeah, or yeah, he's got like a. I think in like uh, Winter Soldier, he's got a watch. And then yeah. Uh, no, why don't you take out in outside your house so that way you don't have to worry about blasting yourself into the concrete? Now here's. The, another thing that was me is like there are no flaps on them, which is like you think you'd have a flap because a lot of times it'd be a lot more convenient just to open up a flap to turn, and, you know, completely shifting your, you know, completely shifting the thrusters. Yeah. Oh, oh there are some actually little flaps on the back. Uh, <laughs> and one kid notices them, the other kid just completely oblivious. Alright, let's see this thing we do. Just start sending one track. The altitude right up to the to the of the I think there is a to build up a Also, it would be really hard for him to breathe. That, yeah, uh, that thing doesn't have oxygen tanks built in, so he'd be really. Yeah. Well, at least I don't think it does. Oh, the no, I don't think it does either. Like, between the cold oh. and the lack of oxygen, he probably would have passed out. Yeah. yeah. And now the G-forces would also be making him pass out. Yep. Yep. I was just about to say that. Because, yeah, he's not just... This is not just old falling. This is him singing like a top. You're lucky your suit at all works. Jeez, that- dude. Yeah. You almost just caused like five car wrecks, but you're okay, least- so keep going. Yeah, thank God you pulled up five inches before you hit the ground. Right. Oh, jeez. But yeah, that's why you don't go off for a height record unless you're specifically certain that you can do it. Or you have like people and things around to like catch yeah. you. Oh, that's yeah. funny. Did, yeah. He was like right above the ground. How did he land with that much force? Ouch! Uh, he wrecked a car. Uh, I don't know, but it, I, I'm willing to make the argument of that suit just weighs so much that the floor is. But not then, how good. if it weighs that much? How does like I feel like he well, would have had agree. other it issues sense, then. But still. Like I said, that's that's the that's the one argument I'm willing to give it. But still, it, it still doesn't make perfect sense. Dude, and that, that coffee would be, be very so cold, cold after sitting on top of that box yeah, all no day. Doubt. From Pepper uh, is oh this is the uh, I forgot about this but this is the proof that Tony Stark has heart or something like that. Well, yeah, he needs that later in the movie. Yeah. yeah, well, it's a plot point. Yeah, proof that Tony Stark has yeah has a heart. <laughs> Which, to be it's fair, funny, I would love a trophy. I would love that. a little thing like that. I would seriously put it like up, up here in my little yeah. display cove. He literally crushed a Shelby. That means he has no heart. 
<laughs> Again, he really Not should have funny. moved the cars for his the show me. I don't know, babe. Yeah, no, I 100% agree. Seriously, he wrecked a couple, he scorched through his cars and completely trashed one by crashing on it. Well, the uh, thing yeah. is, of all the cars that crashed, the Shelby, like, seriously, it's a 1967 Shelby Mustang. I'm Still not claiming you can buy a new one. the Audi. Is the Shelby the rarest car he had? Yeah, you can't uh, get that car. Okay, so basically, I just want to point out, basically what your husband is doing right now with the cars is what I was doing earlier with the military stuff. Oh, I know. <laughs> exactly. Like, yeah. So, yeah, like I said, I'm not a super big car guy. I'm more, I like I said, I love military planes and stuff like that. So... Yeah, oh, here we, we he actually was drinking the algae drink that he drinks all consistently through the second one. I'm a little bit surprised that they had that through there. Yeah. Uh, here we get, uh, he's getting, like, there's a press conference. Hey, did we get an invite? No? Well, we're going to crash it. Or at least I think he crashes it, if I remember correctly. Like I said, I haven't seen this movie in a long time. Uh, yeah. Where was that car earlier? You're lucky you didn't torch that one. Well, he managed to keep that one away from everything. Yeah, that else. one he was smart enough to put outside. <laughs> he could have built the rat rod again. You can't. It's a nice watch, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Gary. Yeah. It's a very nice watch. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at the engine on that Audi. It's, yeah, no it's a nice car. Not as nice, not as nice it's, as the no, Shelby. It's though. not a '67 Shelby. That's the car you wreck. That's the car you break. In. Oh, uh, <laughs> I didn't see what the license plate. I think the license plate said like Stark Two. It's it like, said what Stark happened? Four. Stark Four. So what happened to one through three? They were the Shelby. It, they were the other cars that were there. The ones that he trashed. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah, Toy Stark's here. Uh, yeah, he got. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, here we go. Uh, Stanley reference. Yeah, uh, this is this is a little bit too much of the bad guy, obviously being the bad guy, which I really would have appreciated. It's like, dude, I, I thought you need time to recover after what happened. You know, you know, be a little bit more friendly, not just like, no. oh, shit, Colson. I'd be sad, but I've. Watched enough Agent of Shield to just. He deserves his own flipping movie, dude. He <laughs> has a whole TV show. I know he has a whole TV show, but seriously, I love it. Grant, I just love Tolson that much. He's so awesome, and the actor playing him is just perfect. Great, Gray Clark, Clark. I, Clark I, I, I don't know. He has two first names. Yeah, I, does, isn't he one of those names where he has like four different first names as his actual name? I don't. I don't remember. Sure Clark Greg. Greg Clark. Clark Greg. Okay, hold on. Ah, dears. Uh, Clark Greg. Yeah. All right. I was right. One of the times. But yeah, no. This is something that bugs me. I just want to point this out. Uh, can you? Oh, wait. If he, I'm, oh uh, yeah, I really can't see. But I just want to point out, those are the size of my buttons. This is the size of my thumb. I fat finger these buttons so many times, it's not even funny. Everyone does, even I do. Yeah, I got grand. I got huge hands. Like seriously, if I ever, whenever I go to work and it's like, oh, you need to put gloves on for this. We don't have gloves that fit me. <laughs> so <laughs> that is kind of an annoyance. But grand, I, I've just gotten very good at just religiously washing my hands. That way, I don't have to worry about it so much. And here we just get a nice little dance with him and Pepper. Yeah. And we should, Gwyneth Paltrow, to mention her. Uh, she also has that freaking company, that like essential 
Come, we don't uh, need to go into that. She's weird. Yeah. It's fine. Move on. Yeah, she's, she's one of these weird hippie people, honestly, unfortunately. Which, I knew she's a terrific actress, but yeah, it does bug me. Yeah. And here we got another... I appreciate the quiet scenes that they're giving us. It's kind of nice, considering that up till now, the movie has just kind of been, you know, hit, boom, 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 action, action, action. So it's nice to actually have a scene of them, okay, let's take it back, and let's just watch these two being these two. Yeah. 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 And I'm wearing this ridiculous dress. Thank you. At least an actress says it. That is something that bugs the ever living crap out of me in 90% of what. Well, she's wearing a dress, a ridiculous dress, because they're at a ridiculous. Fancy yeah. like gala, like that's what yeah. you got. That's what you wear. Yeah, unfortunately, I mean, right, that's just something I don't dislike about a lot of what uh, of women wear because it's like it's so over the top extravagant. It's like you realize you can take that Her back. Her dress a little bit. isn't even so that good. ridiculous, all things considered. Yeah, but I mean, you know, here, look at the background. You see something like a lot of the women's dresses here, are just perfectly fine. Oh, and here is it. Isn't this the reporter that I slept with earlier? Yeah, it's the Vanity Fair reporter from earlier. Yeah. Yeah. You have a lot of nerds showing up here. Oh, shut up. It's like, this is my company. I can show up if I want to. I I kind of dislike that he's wearing a bow tie. You think he'd be wearing an actual tie? Bow ties are actually uh, fancier than a tie. I know, but I hate them. I prefer actual ties. Like black tie events usually is a bow tie yes. and a and a yeah. tux. Like it's yeah. which maybe, is maybe uh, it's, a normal it's, tie it's, would be like cocktail attire. It's yeah. actually not as uh, fa- it's more <laughs> casual. Mind you, I grew up in like uh, you know a small town where it's like, hey, dress up is you know pretty much a polo and khakis. So. Maybe I'm not exactly the person to talk about fashion. Well, I'm just saying black tie is a dress code, and it means it's a specific dress code. Well, see here, and I'm even fancier than things. black tie is a white tie event, and you don't get fancier than that. I don't even want to know about that, honestly. <laughs> yeah, and here, uh, here we go. Bad guy explicitly being bad guy because bad guy is bad guy. Uh, that's, yeah, seriously, that bugs me to no end. It's like, seriously, you don't, you don't have to be that much of a bad guy. So he's going to put on a suit. How fast do you think he can fly? It's still going to take him a couple hours to fly across the world, right? Like, well, does the suit the, have a container for his pee? Yeah, no doubt. No, it's, but it's like, okay. The, the fastest air-breathing plane we have is the SR-71, um, but there are other non-air-breathing planes, but those are more rockets, and they can go faster. The Iron Man suit does not have any air vents, so I'm assuming it is a rocket, pretty much. So, But it would still take, oh gosh, it would still take a couple hours to get across, to get overseas. You know, even if it even if it were moving, yeah. hello. How did he reduce the kickback? Yeah, no doubt. Considering that kicked him way across the room earlier, here it just kind of yeah. shoved him. I'm assuming that's what the adjustments on his arms was supposedly doing, but yeah. Newton's laws of physics for every yeah. action there, and he doesn't have the rest of like if he had the rest of his, the suit on, I can see how it would have the force to keep him still. Yeah. But wearing yeah. just the armband, I don't yeah. see at all how that would keep it, like, how adjusting from screws blew up three of your windows, jackass. This is the part that really is like, this is a little too, no, I don't think he set this type of stuff up for the suit in this short of time and not had surgery to have the stuff removed from his heart. Granted, the thing, the you know, stuff he has in his heart is there for at least until Iron Man three. 
Isn't it the third Iron Man when he finally gets the surgery? Yeah, or is it the second one? Yeah, I think it's I think it's Iron Man three, which is like I said, in reality, you'd be doing that instantly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, dear. Yeah. And the helmet comes on last. Oh, nice grimace. Nice. Yeah. Flowering there. It was, it was nice time when he took off. And now it looks like, oh, I'd say, you know, afternoon, late morning. So, oh, we're getting bombed. Ouch. Yeah. So yeah. So he must have been flying for it because, like I said, it was night when he left, and it's daytime here. So he got here in record time, considering. But also, was it nighttime where he was when he left? Because you have to take yeah, into account yeah. time zones as well. Yeah. No, it was nighttime when he left. And it's daytime here, but that would make it, but, you know, if it were nighttime there, that would make it daytime here anyway, considering it's on the complete other well, side. It depends on how time. late at night it was, because. Yeah. That, that is true. That is well, true. What would the time difference from California to Iran, though, or Afghanistan? What is that time difference? You're asking me. You're right, though. That Ow. would be. You would think it would be, like, just about to be the same time here as yeah. when he had left his place. Yeah. Yeah, it's like it's it's like it's nine it's like nine o'clock here nine you know a p.m. here it's nine a.m. there. It doesn't make a lot. It doesn't make perfect sense, but still. Oh, here we go. Whee! Uh, the first superhero landing, which I don't. Afghanistan think is twelve out. and a half hours ahead of California, by the way. Uh, so yeah, it, it would be it would be about okay. It's like nine p.m. here. It's nine a.m. there. So yeah. Yeah. So maybe if he, if it was like just starting to be nighttime when he left, yeah, it could still like be daylight here, but it would be like now, evening I, time. Oh yeah, that's that's efficient. <laughs> I like those little dark things. <laughs> yep. Yeah. How cute. Yeah. yeah. For a second, I thought that kid had blue hair, but no, it's a hat. Okay. No, it's a hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, but I didn't know that at first, but yeah. And this part here. Uh, yeah, if you pull the guy back through concrete like that, he's dead. Yeah, and uh, I do appreciate that. Yeah, he's all yours. Have fun. Although, I don't think they'd understand what, what he just said. I don't think they speak English. Ouch. And that tank has really good aim to be able to shoot you out of the out of the air like that. And your suit is incredibly strong to be able to take a tank shot. Right? Like that is some impact resistance. Yeah. Uh cuz uh, depending on the type of round that tank is, about the there size of my wall. got there. Yeah. Which, We're mind you, that was clearly uh, uh, no, him walking him. away from the explosion behind him. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I do want to point out, but like I said, it, depending on the type of round that was used, that round's going to be like the size of my entire arm. It's good. It's not going to just hit you and stop. It's going to no. hit you and kick whatever oh, yeah. behind you. Oh, yeah. No, that reminds me of, I was talking about, you know, I was talking, I do have a friend who was in the military. He was a uh, I can say he was special forces. I can't say what branch because honestly, I don't even know what branch. But I remember talking to him about, you know, it's like if you're using a gun like this, it's like it's super risky because you not only have to worry about what you're hitting, you have to worry about what's behind that and what behind that because the penetration is just that powerful. Yeah, makes sense. Like the like a 50 caliber Barrett is a great example of, you know, you shoot somebody with this. You're not killing just him. You're killing everybody else in the flipping room. Yeah. And then this part here, uh, that, the suit, that, a suit that big, 
would hardly register. On, I mean, they pick it up on radar, but I'm pretty sure they'd probably just assume it's a flyer bird. Oh, granted, it is flying like Mach 2 or Mach 3. Well, they, so they, they are assuming that it's some kind of rocket. They just don't. It's none of theirs. Yeah. So they're trying to figure yeah. out, is this an enemy rocket? Is it our yeah. rocket? Do we need to shoot it out of the sky? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they just said it was a weapons platform. It wasn't the actual plane. But you think you think that Tony Stark would have actually worked into you know maybe make this stealth? Bogey spotted. Now is probably the time where you tell them yeah. to back off before they yeah. waste yeah. Yeah. a ton of money and uh, you, trying to shoot at you for no reason. I knew the F twenty twos would not have approached that that close. They would have just shot you out of the sky before you were even aware they were there. An F twenty two could lock on to you before they can actually see you. <laughs> All right. Yeah, there, there. I, know, I like the sonic boom there. Whee! That is such a waste of resources Ordinance. like just tell yeah, him no it's you and don't shoot yeah. your pride yeah. is not worth this no doubt <laughs> or just make a complete deadline for towards the ground oh here we got the vulcan cannon on the 22 on the 22s which those uh, yeah you got hit by those vulcan cannons that suit is not still flying that suit is destroyed Yeah, seriously, if those 22, those, the rounds from a bulky cannon are huge. That thing, your shoot is not still in one piece after that. Yeah. Yeah, and here it's like, it's me, it's me, it's me. Yeah, at this point, you'd be doing, oh, dude, it's Tony Stark. It's him. It's him. Yeah. And I, I'm very curious how he went from grabbing onto the 22 like this. See, now you're taking out the plane. Ouch. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's although um I do want to point out and there's actual history an actual history oh, mind you the plane would not explode from losing a wing like that anyway but there's an actual case of an F15 not an F22 but an F15 losing its wing its entire wing in flight and still being able to land so I'm pretty sure having that much of the wing blown off depending on how skilled the pilot it was obviously I'm pretty sure he could have landed the plane. Like I said, there's no way the plane would just like spontaneously explode like that from just losing the wing. Yeah, just tell I me. Mean, it didn't really take it out. It kind of fell into the plane. Yeah, it kind of, yeah. Your defensive maneuvers caused it to fly into the other plane. Yeah. Yeah, here we go. It saved your pilot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, and there, yeah, yeah, here we see the other F twenty two pull off, and him completely find out. I'm pretty sure the F the other F twenty two would escort him home, or at least escort him out of the airspace. Yeah, yeah, here it's like, yeah, you owe me a plane because F twenty twos they're expensive. That's what I mean. Uh, yeah, it's not that simple. Yeah. An unfortunate training exercise involving an F-22 Raptor occurred yesterday. Yeah, here. Just tell them it was a training exercise. Here we cut to him telling them it's a training exercise. Second turn of the bench on the ground and go near him. It is still unclear who. Yeah. And here we got him in a full on, uh, full on suit. Yeah. Do you wear, I don't think you'd wear that in just as your nighttime, you know, as what you wear. Was he in a suit? I thought he was just in pajamas. It looked like a suit to me. No, it was pajamas. It was pajamas. It was just. It was pajamas? Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, here we go. The windows are gone. Pajama suit. Yeah. It's 
probably a you can buy one at Walmart. I don't know. Not it looks like a suit. Look like what he was wearing, but uh, yeah, considering how easy it was to put the suit on, I don't think he'd be having this much problem taking it off. The, that that line there. This is not the worst thing you've ever caught me doing. What else has she caught you doing? Drugs. <laughs> Probably. Well, yeah, the people is obvious considering he was loves you earlier. <laughs> yeah, in this part here, uh, dude, how did you get on a plane to fly overseas? Yeah, how Africa? did you get there that fast, dude? Yeah. 12 yeah. hour time difference means yeah. God, how that's that is a 20 hour flight. At least. At least. At least. <laughs> and getting to Singapore is a 24 hour travel time. Getting to Australia is 24 plus hours of travel time. Yeah. Getting yeah, to the Dangle other side of the world takes a long time. Yeah. We'll pick a jet plane. I don't care. Well, here's the thing. He wasn't in a jet plane. He would have been in an own private jet, which likely isn't supersonic. Especially from California. Oh, from, like, the East Coast, maybe 15 hours. But from California, it's it's probably taking you at least 18 hours of flight time. At least. At least. Yeah. But, I mean, but my point was, is like, how can you get on a plane and nobody notices? Like, when your reception is no, oh, by the way, he just kind of left. I don't know where he went. Yeah, uh, like, somebody would have to know because air yeah. traffic control would have to clear it. Your pilot obviously would have to know. Yeah. You're, like you mm -hmm. said, your assistant, maybe you could lie to her about where you're going, but. Yeah. I mean, with Tony Stark getting in the suit, it makes sense because Tony just put on the suit and go and, you know, right. and no one's going to notice because it's just him. And he's going to be back, you know, he's going to be back for morning, but still. Right. He's flying out of his house. He, Tony Stark yeah. is blatantly ignoring all air, like all air traffic. Yeah. Oh, I forgot this was his thing. Yeah. Yeah. I forgot this too. Ouch. I don't know if there's, I don't believe there is a, does, a sound that can paralyze someone, but I appreciate the idea. It's one. It's something. It's something that you can see right out of Star Trek. It'll only last for fifteen minutes. <laughs> Kill them all. Yep. Yep. Blatantly evil bad guy. Yeah. How do you not know how to build an arc reactor? Wouldn't you have been helping Tony make the original one? But no, that's just right. Like the plans for the arc reactor would be patented and would be like part of the industry, like Stark Industries yeah, yeah. stuff. Being part of the company, he'd be able to get those specs for the big one. I think what he's trying to do and what the issue is, how do you make it smaller? Yeah. Because that's I obviously still, a slightly different technology. Otherwise yeah. they would have done it already. But I don't I don't I don't buy that Tony Stark is that leaps and bounds more intelligent than everybody else on his crew that they can't figure it out like he can. Oh, uh, I mean I don't think it's that implausible. Yeah, maybe who knows? I mean, granted, this is this is all futuristic side side tech anyway. So, but like in general, with like a lot of tech things, like it takes like a lot of different people collaborating yeah. to make any like kind of giant leap like that. Yeah. So, if you're the one guy that happens to have the breakthrough, who knows how long it would take the rest of them to have like? The, I'm just, in some cases, some people do think of the same thing at the same time. Sure. Yeah. But I'm just, no, that, I'm not, I'm just saying it's not impossible <laughs> that Tony is actually leaps and bounds ahead of people. Yeah. No, that reminds me, like, just before World War One, a British scientist and a German scientist got into a scuffle because they both, you know, they both had an idea about how, basically, a jet engine, how it would work. And they were getting, it's like, no, you stole my idea. No, you stole my idea. Yeah. So they put it out of reality. They just came up to it with it at the exact same time. Because yeah, I was actually thinking, I think um, something similar happened with the periodic table as well. Like, Probably too. I wouldn't be surprised. Evolution. 
Yeah, like... I just noticed the jukebox in the background. Why not? He should hit it. He should just go up and hit it and have it play a song just because. Yeah. And they're just they stare at each other because reasons. What is she getting from his computer? I don't know. I didn't see. No, I wasn't paying attention. I forgot, I I forgot to set up the subtitles. Just sabotaging Obadiah's yeah. computer. This is is this Obadiah's or is this Stark's computer? This is this Obadiah's. Because if it were Stark's computer, I don't think they'd have an issue of you know. I guess it could be Stark's. Who knows? But I would think Stark would be able to VPN into his own computer. You think? Yeah. Warning: security breach. Access granted. Uh, mind you, I don't know Ghost Drive. I don't. It has to be uh, Obadiah's computer because, yeah. Oh my or they're gosh. just in the network, and Obadiah is dumb enough to use yeah. the network servers to store yeah, his. Yeah, no freaking file doubt. <laughs> yeah, I, I would hope he's not that stupid, but. Yeah. Oh, here we got the terrorist video. Hello. Yeah, because that's that easy back before. Yeah, no doubt. Ever. Translate. Yeah, uh, I don't think <laughs> there's a translate program like that, but hey, who knows? <laughs> copy and copy. Yeah. It's like, you know, here's the thing. I know that he, I know that, or at least, oh, look, a picture of a B-25 looks like in the background. Anyway, uh, you'd think it'd be, you know, it's like, look, I'm an assistant, whatever, who cares? You know, I'm just doing stuff. Just minimize what, minimize that program and just open up like a Word document and just, you know, start typing out random stuff. Yeah, do what everybody <laughs> else does when their boss walks in on them doing something. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. To do. Control! I, yeah. or, I mean, alt tab. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, no doubt. Done that plenty of times in high school. Yeah. Yeah, just minimize it. Although this part gets me, it's like it's just it goes to the screensaver. It's like, okay, you were clearly doing something. Seriously, open right. up like a word document. You know, open up a word document or something. <laughs> just even even open up a, like a Wiki Wikipedia page or you know, up something. Your email or something that looks yeah, legit. Yeah, to be yeah. yeah. <laughs> Seriously. Because at this point, it's clearly obvious that you're hiding something because you just moved it to the screensaver. Right. Where it'd be, yeah. Where it'd be like, honestly, you know. I mean, granted, it is. There is also the thing is like, would he be aware that you are with Tony or would he suspect that you are doing anything? So. I mean, you, you probably saw them happen. dancing at that event. So. Well. You know, you, I would assume that Tony was probably dancing with a lot of people during that event, so. But yeah, like I said, Pepper Potts, maybe. But it's like, you know, Pepper Potts is, is, is just his assistant. Are you really going to think that she's in on everything that's going on? You know. I mean, if it were Tony, I'd certainly understand. But like I said, with him. Yeah, here. Uh, if you unplugged it, I'm pretty sure the computer would, you know. I'm pretty. I'm not sure. But I'm pretty sure it would have pulled something up on the computer, like, oh, it's got unplugged or it made a sound. Because whenever it I unplug it, sound for sure. Yeah. Whenever I unplug something from my computer, it makes a sound. Right. So. Why didn't why would she, why is she leaving the office? Because she's done. Yeah, Whose office the, is yeah. that? Because like, uh, if it's if it's Tony's computer, because here's the other thing: if it's Tony's computer. Kicking on the screensaver means you have to log back in to see what was going yes. on. So he wouldn't be able to do that. If yeah. it was Obadiah's computer, then he should have been super suspicious of seeing. Yeah, why are you computer. in my office? <laughs> yeah, and it, and I highly doubt that Obadiah and Stark share a computer to the point where either one could look at it and be okay. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt.
I like how he just hit himself in the face with his tie. With a box of scraps. Yeah. <laughs> Mind you, that <laughs> I give props to the actor for not flinching or anything about that, but still. Because <laughs> I know a lot of people, you know, you just you know, flip your tie in your face. You know, you'd be, whoa, what the? Yeah. And this part here. Yeah, uh, how did you get in there behind him and not have you notice? Were you like hiding how behind the couch? How does Tony Stark not have better security than that? Oh, I, but he yeah, no doubt. is his friend, so he knows how to get around it. So that's fine. Yeah, no, but still, it's like you know, how did you? Were, were you like hiding behind the couch? What? What the heck? Yeah, how did you not notice him walk up? Yeah. It would have made more sense if he would have, like, turned the thing on and then walked across the room. Like, yes. Yeah. But he, like, turned it on and immediately walked around. I'm like, how did you not notice him walking up to you? Yeah. What I think they probably should have done is had him and what, I mean, at least how I would have made it. I don't quote me on, the, you know, would this be perfect or not. What I would have had to do is, like, had him enter the room. Like, hey, Tony, what's up? Just wanted to check on you. Have him approach, you know, and have them be discussing, talking like they're friends. And then, nah, you know, gotta be then, obvious, my guy. Yeah, it would. I mean, like I said, it would be obvious, but there's there. Are, I don't think there's a way for him to successfully hide behind the couch. No, but he wasn't even behind the couch. That's what I mean. Like, <laughs> you see him come up, like face him, and come around to start talking. Yeah, maybe he has it, an invisibility cloak. Who knows? Right, he borrowed that from Harry Potter. Yeah, <laughs> why not? Because none of none, it doesn't make any sense about how he could do that. Ouch. In this part here, it's like you're effectively killing your best friend. Uh, he already you... had him kidnapped yeah. by bad guys. He obviously, yeah. killing Tony Stark obviously does not matter to him. Yeah, fair enough. Although if that were the case, then why didn't the ter terrorists just kill Tony Stark? That's what money. I thought. That's what that video was that we kind of talked over and missed the translation. Well, the terrorist just died because he killed them, right? No, before that, when they the video, the uh, hostage video that they sent to him, yeah, the one at the beginning of the film, yeah, that makes you think, oh, he's being held hostage, and you think it's being sent to good guys who want to save him, but no, it was the yeah. bad guy saying it to Obadiah, saying we didn't kill him. Yeah, we want more money. We want well, more money. money. Fair enough. Exactly what the scene that we just watched. Was. Yes. So that's why they were supposed to kill him. He was supposed to die yeah. in the initial fight. I yeah. think. No, that's exactly what was yeah. supposed to happen. Yeah. Although a lot of this is like, you know, you it'd probably just be easier to have him removed from the board of directors versus killing him, but still. Oh, well, how are you gonna remove him what yeah, what he could have done was when Tony Stark came back. Move to remove from the board of directors under it's mental like, instability or something. Yeah. 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 Oh, he was just a hostage. He needs time to recover. Some kind of bull yeah. crap like that. No doubt. Yeah. And Rhodey, yeah, he just got a truck. He doesn't got a fancy sports car. Uh, this part bugs me. It's like, is he still recovering from the thing? Because I don't. Because there's no way the shrap this you know the shrapnel going into his heart would be causing this level of problems. So it must. I be have no idea. Yeah. Dude, don't throw that away. Get on it and roll yourself forward. Yeah, that would have made more sense. Paul. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's still, it's like, is this like, is this still the after effects of the whatever? Because like I said, I'm pretty sure you'd be able to get up by now. Or he'd be dead by now. Yeah. Because that thing is supposed to be keeping the shrapnel from getting into his heart. Yeah. 
Well, it's like so how much like time was now, it? It would just mean that the shrapnel is moving towards his heart, and yeah. I would think that would be more like a take, sudden though? death thing. Yeah. Because what? Because what you would think? Because well, you wouldn't want to be super active because what the heart beating is what's probably would be pushing it towards the heart. Oh, for sure, right. But uh, but it's like so exactly, you know, how much would they move with each beat? But like I said, I'm pretty sure if you were to just calmly, just you know, relax, let the effects of the whatever wear off, and then calmly get up and walk, I'm pretty sure you'd have enough time because your heart's not going to be beating that fast. Yeah, and uh, a roadie just apparently has the password and can just easily walk come into your house. Uh, Rody's his uh, best friend. Of course, he's going to have it. My my best friends don't have keys to my house. Uh, some of my friends do because one of them uh, watches my dogs and or house sits for me when I go on vacation. I don't I don't have any need for that. I don't have any pets, so. When I did have pets, I just had fish, and I would just give them to my brothers, and I had to, like, wash my fish. Yeah, I can't really do that with my three cats and two dogs. Here, well, watch these for the weekend. Yeah. No, well, yeah, with cats and dogs, it's a little bit more difficult. <laughs> this part here bugs me. It's like, what are they doing here? I forget. I, this is where she found, according to... Obadiah secret files. This is where the suit's being built at. So she's trying to. I, I do. I do love Coulson here. That she knows Obadiah built. I do love Coulson here. Just you know. <laughs> All right, don't worry. I got this. Uh, <laughs> and that tiny little explosion. Mind you, what obvious? What obviously it is is like like just a shape charge. Pull, you know, blasting a piece of his feet through the through the lock and disabling the lock, which I don't think that would actually work. Because I mean, oh, if you were to do that to a deadbolt, you would just lock yourself. The way they destroyed an action no, they, they destroy the car. Clear. And they wouldn't destroy it. No, that'd be way too expensive. Like, damn. And he goes right through the hole they fell through earlier. <laughs> yeah. And then this part. No, nope, not you, Terrence. Not you. Juan Cheadle does. Yeah. No, I mean, well, being back behind you, who do you think is better as Rhodey, Don Cheadle or Terrence? Uh, I, I think they both do a great job. I don't really do have a preference. I like Don Cheadle more. I mean, Don well, Cheadle, I mean, def I, just because we ha I've seen him more. It's not that. Yeah, it's, yeah that's what I was going to say. It's a sincerity. Don Cheadle Which, looks to be fair, I want to see Don Cheadle. That's fair. Yeah. Terrence is always so cool looking. Uh, this bugs me. All the time. Uh, somebody really good look, in Empire. keep your heads on a swivel. Heads on a swivel. Don't everybody look at the thing. If someone looks behind you. Oh, that bugs me no end. You got all these people staring at one thing. It's like, no, keep your eyes open. This guy knows. Or somebody with a flashlight. Where is that thing hiding? Right here. No doubt. Behind the chains, because it's too much out of here. Well, seriously, turn off light. Guys? Yeah, there we go. I oh, found it. Oh. I found it. Yeah, I found the enemy thing. <laughs> Run. That thing's like a mecha. A Ouch. mecha sword. It's, uh, it's mecha hulk. I can talk. Yeah. A mega sword. Mecha. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, a mecha suit. There we go. In, uh, That's the word. In Power Rangers, in Power Rangers, Mega Force, they have Mega Zords and Mecha Zords. So they have both. Yeah. No, not the internet again. Are right, we good? Now, you guys didn't lose. I didn't lose you at all. Did I freeze or something? You got a little choppy. It's fine now. Okay. Okay. No, I didn't lose you guys at all for a second, so. You are not yeah, my uh, boss, Obadiah. Yeah, no doubt. 
I uh, this it. part here. <laughs> Ouch. Ow. <laughs> That's a family of five. Yeah, yeah, I react, <laughs> oh, boy, this is really the dog. I wonder if Audi oh, paid a lot of money to have their cards in this thing. I'm guessing yes. I'm going to go with a yes. Yeah. Between the sports car and this part here, car. Like, dude, why are you picking? Like, dude, how evil are you? But family is fine. Up, up <laughs> <in> the <laughs> family. <laughs> but yeah, how oh, evil even better. are you? There's four kids in the car with mom. Yeah. That is how at least evil a family are you? That you're willing to just, you know, kill people like that. These are not terrorists. These are innocent American civilians. Why, how evil are you? Yeah, and here. Uh, that that is a really high place. car. If, uh, like this like is that. great. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, that poor dude. That was a call for. Ouch. I'm just noticing a lot of little fireballs in there that make no sense. Like, what's causing those fireballs? Ouch. Uh, uh, how, your boot must be really weak considering that you stomped on him twice and he's not dead. That suit moves really uh well considering its size. Yeah. What's with the rocket? Why are... Hold on. You threw him into a bus, turned around, and then launched a rocket in the direction... I don't know. Oh, my God. Oh, my this part here, I remember always getting me. It's like, this has a horrible takeoff. That's got kind of a very pathetic takeoff. Seriously. <laughs> Never tell me the odds, Chaucer. Yeah, no doubt. Oh my god, the thing flies so slowly. <laughs> seriously, look at, at how fast Tony's suit is moving and how fast Obadiah's suit is moving. It's like, seriously. <laughs> yeah, now it's a training exercise. Don't worry about it. Uh, it's happening right over a civilian populated area. We're going to worry yeah. about it. Oh my gosh, I think, where is all the blue smoke coming also, from? Also, how do you know it's the same thing you saw before when this one's over California and the first one was over Afghanistan? Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. Oh my God. I know why they have the big plume of smoke to be like, oh, this is the bad guy. But still, it's like, what is burning to cause all that smoke? Yeah, how did you not notice before now? Also, again, it would be so hard to breathe from that height. Yeah. So hard. Well, if you're high enough that ice and is cold. Forming, if, you're, if you were high enough that ice was forming, I'm pretty sure you wouldn't be breathing. It would be painful to breathe. Yeah. So yeah, How they did must he have not like, fall through the roof there when he fell through the roof at his home. Yeah. Yeah. Must, yeah. I felt that. It's like, but yeah, uh, they must have one hell of an oxygen oxygen generation system in that suit because seriously, uh, yeah. don't take off your mask. <laughs> Why did you take off your glove? Yeah, no doubt. Ouch. What is he trying to do? Bear hug him to death? Yeah, but, uh, this I don't think would actually do anything. I don't know how launching flares like that would cause him to let go. Because all we'd have to do is close his eyes and he's good. Well, how are you going to do that? You're going to do it. Go to the central console, open up all the circuits, and I can clear the roof and let you know you need to hit the master bypass button. I'm going to frag you up here. I'm going in now. 
Yeah, when he shrinks down right, to get on, to the guys too. Hold on, you were you were mentioning how uh, he got through, you know, fell through the uh, ceiling. How is he on a glass ceiling now, which is going to be much less strong and not falling? Yeah, through. I uh, comedy, comedic effect, wow. plot. <laughs> That thing's got a minigun, which has horrible aim. My gosh, that is pathetic aim there, buddy. He does have terrible aim. Because seriously, it's not that hard to aim. Why are you... Stop blowing up the windows! Why did I just thought of something? Why didn't we set this up with Google Plus? Disney Plus. I just thought about that. We didn't even think about that. Oh. You have bad aim. He has terrible aim. Yeah. yeah. Well, he's also had no practice with with this suit. He yeah. Well, the targeting just... system's fine. Now there's that too. That makes sense. They're basically trying to learn how to shoot an arm cannon without any sights. Right. That's what I mean. Uh, like, the first time he's playing around with it to begin with. Ouch. Okay, how is it Tony just gets thrown across the ceiling when he gets completely full zapped? Also, I'm pretty sure that would just cause the MP not an actual explosion like that. And I don't think it'd fry him to death. And this here, uh, if an arc, if you had a reactor that was generating that much power to like power not only the building but look like several city blocks, I'm pretty sure it'd do more than just a fiery explosion like that. If it exploded that fiery, how did he not get more burned? Yeah, how did he not get completely incinerated? Oh, dear. It's, don't worry, the oh, yeah. are still going, barely. Yeah. KNKV News. That can't be a real station. No. Yeah. Oh, I, I know in the next movie they have like a um, they have like a Fox News segment in the background. So, who is the Iron Man? You know, because of, you were very, very. You guys were not exactly. Be secretive about your fight through the downtown freaking freeway. <laughs> yeah. Although I do love how it's Colson giving him the cards, like read these, and not like Pepper Potts, you know, being like, "This is what this is what you need to say." No, it's Colson. So I appreciate that. Well, it's because it's the government cover up. Okay, so come on. There's no way you want to try it yet. Yeah. Yeah. Although part of it, part of it's like I was on vacation. I'm pretty sure people realized to have known that you were on vacation. It was my pleasure. You that was like so exciting when they said that guys. the first time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
And again, in the background, we got the nice B. I think it's a B seventeen bomber, actually, but still. So I guess that is his office that he was. I don't know. Yeah, because they're in the same office that Pepper Potts was it was infiltrating earlier. So yeah. so it would have been his office. I yeah. Guess. So again, if you put that. So yeah. So then, up, so then it's just. So then why was yes. why would Obadiah be suspicious about her being in that office to begin with? When it's like, I you know that's his assistant. Of course she's going to be here. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Plot potholes, but mind you, those are like slight little niggles compared to how you know the rest of the movie. So, granted, that's the purpose of a snark fest is to point out every tiny little flaw versus you know, yeah, <laughs> he will not be taking any questions. Thank you. I am Iron Man, yeah, yeah, he will not be taking any questions. I'm pretty sure he would have said that, but so, yeah, see, now everybody has their own chair, but yeah. <laughs> Because this is a properly set up, yeah, yeah, properly set up. Release. They had more than just five more seconds. Five minutes. <laughs> they had more than oh, by the way, we're doing a press conference. Go there now. Yeah. Although, granted, you would think they they had to just have a room dedicated for press briefings, considering. Yeah, uh, here you said you were just releasing a statement, and we're going to take any questions. Stop taking questions. Yeah, why yeah, was she talking to you? Seriously. Yeah. And here we got it. Just, dude, just shut up. Stick to reading reading the cards. You're rambling. You're rambling, yeah. Tony. Just stick to reading your cards. Nope. <laughs> oh, I do love this. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, and the one woman is just, you know, nope, I knew I got this. So one of the best soundtracks of all my movies. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and John Favreau, well, which we should have pointed out, yeah, he was throughout, you know, you saw him throughout the movie, or at least the other Yeah, part. he was happy. So yeah. So yeah, we probably should have pointed that out, but still. <laughs> um yeah, people know yeah. who he is. Yeah, well granted, granted, yeah, he's become freaking the face of Marvel now. <laughs> so because he's the because he's kind of the driving force behind all these movies, so mm. more or less, from what I understand. No, Feige's the one that's behind most Marvel these days. Really? Yeah. Because uh, I, I think it's I, I think it's I think I I think they both have creative control, but no. I don't know. Well, because uh, well, maybe a little bit. But because, the reason I say that is because um is a. Uh, Oh frick! Ah, I'm just completely blanked on the name, even though I just said it. Uh, he's but he's been Favreau's been there since the beginning. Whereas Feige wasn't Feige brought on for the Avengers and after. No, Feige. Oh. I just got his name in the credits. He did. Okay, yeah. I'm losing my mind. I have. I will grant. I'm not looking. So, all right, maybe I'm losing my mind. Who knows? Grant, it is getting late. So, yeah. Leave it to John. Yeah, a John Favreau film. Yeah, that's what a lot of people. Yeah. I've seen yeah. memes about that. The guy is just good. Yeah. Yeah. He knows how to tell a good He's story. Good. He's damn good. Yeah. All right. Which is that's the kind of problem that we're seeing with a lot of now movie movies now, especially like the most recent Star Wars. It's like they're more focused on doing something instead of telling a good story. Oh so, yeah. All right. So that was Iron Man. Still a good movie. Um, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, reading, I'm just reading the the names like Viper One, Viper Two. <laughs> I'm just going through the names now. Stanley uh, as Stan himself. Stan's girls. Yeah. Stan's yep. Yep. <laughs> I'm loving it. So I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit surprised at how few credits there are. I thought there'd be more considering how many extras there were, but fair enough. So yeah, that was Iron Man. Uh, so, so the after scene too. Like said, is there an end credit scene on this one? I uh, yeah, yeah, there is. Yeah, I think he meets with. Um, I'm not sure. If, I'm not. Story. I'm not sure if it's end end yeah. or if it's like mid credit. Comes up. That's right too, and says the Avenger Initiative. Yeah, like I, said, I don't know if it's end credits or like mid credits. I think it's end no. Credits. I think it's an end credit. I think so too. Um, but yeah, no. But I do remember that was a big thing. It's like. Would they hire Samuel L. Jackson for just this little cameo? 
where it was like, you know, are they, you know, because because obviously they wanted to do more than just this. There's no right. way you hire and, a and you, and you uh, saw that for sure when Hulk came out next and the end credit scene was Tony Stark approaching Ed Norton. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so, I mean, they certainly had the plans, but I, but I mean, but I'm also like, if this movie had been a complete and utter flop. Oh, it would have been shut down and wouldn't have gone anywhere. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Which, mind you, that would have been a complete disaster. It's like, crap, we hired, we spent, stop it. We spent how much money to get Samuel <laughs> Jackson for a five, like a minute long cameo. I mean, you say that, but Samuel L. Jackson has done some weird crap. I don't think he's that expensive. You fair story. enough, fair enough. I'm just saying, I don't true. think... He's done snakes on a plane. And he might have a sense of humor because I know. Um, well, I know he has Daniel a sense Radcliffe of humor. From Harry Potter has a sense of humor, and he's like, "I'm yeah. going to do whatever I want because I have enough money from Harry Potter." So all he does is yeah. weird shit. <laughs> yeah, wasn't it, wasn't Daniel Radcliffe in like a Now You Can See Me or not? What or was one of the? He was one of them, one of those magic movies, wasn't he? I think I don't remember. But anyway, but I, but I, I do don't know. know. Yeah, but I do know that Samuel L. Jackson does have a sense of humor about stuff like this. I've heard that he's like even willing to like do like parody work about his stuff. So I mean, yeah. I mean, to be fair, Deep Blue, maybe when he got eaten. Yeah, where he's going. Jurassic Park, where he got eaten. Yeah. Well, to be fair, in Jurassic Park was before he became Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah, I know, I know, but it's so, so funny <laughs> when you watch it yeah. now and you're like, holy crap, it's Samuel. Yeah. So, although the part where he gets eaten in Deep Blue Sea, that's like, that's like, whoa, dude. <laughs> but it's um, such a, a rip off of like his character. At that yeah. Point. You know, the yeah, monologuing, well, I mean, like, good guy, yeah. inspirational. Yeah. Uh, the Unbreakable, when he's Mr. and Mr. Glass. I haven't yeah. seen Glass yet, though. Uh, yeah. But I mean, it just makes me think about all the, you know, you got so many actors that are unfortunately super, like, they don't have a sense of humor. That it bugs me to no end. I can think of a top off my head, top of my head, but I don't want to say anything Ed bad Norton. about that. Yeah, Ed what? Norton. Ed Norton. There's a reason why yeah. they he. Uh, yeah. Well, there's a reason that he wasn't brought back for the Hulk. Yeah. Howard, or Terrence there, Howard. There's a reason that he wasn't and brought back for the Hulk. Wasn't hired back for a reason. Yeah. But yeah, no, that's one thing where it's like. What I like about some actors, like 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 I said, I'm pretty sure Sam, from what I've heard, Samuel Jackson is one of them. Where it's like he's you know whatever you know he's got a big sense of humor about himself. He doesn't you know he's not a you know hard to work with guy. There's you know, I mean, granted, if I were in a, if I were freaking famous like this, I'd be like I'd be going to like South Park and like, dude, if you ever want to parody me, just call me. I will happily do the voice for myself. So well, I mean, people were doing what is it, the Simpsons yeah. or Family Guy? Maybe it's Simpsons. Yeah. One of the two people people did that. They called them like, hey, if you ever want to parody me, I'll do my actual voice. Yeah. And, and I think it's the Simpsons where they won't let you. They're like, we'll use your voice, but you're gonna be yeah. a dog. They won't yeah, let yeah. you actually parody yourself. Yeah, but I, I think but Family Guy does allow that people on it because like Family Guy had Rush Limbaugh. Yeah, well that's what made me think of it because I know like I'm pretty sure David Tennant has voiced Doctor Who yeah. on Family Guy. So I'm pretty yep. sure it's the yeah, Simpsons yeah. where they'll use famous actors for the most random cameos. Yeah. Like literally dog barking yeah. will be like Matt Damon or something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, but like I said, because like I said, you know, Simpsons does the, that, but like Family Guy, like I said, they hired Rich Limbaugh, they had David Tennant. I from my, I think they had a scene where they had like the entire, like almost the entire writers' union of actors in the scene, and they just and everybody had their own little voice. So well, I, mean, I mean, yeah, Adam West voiced himself as mayor, so mm -hmm. which to be fair, love Adam West. <laughs> Granted, I've loved Adam West before Family Guy, so because Adam West has just always been amazing. Yeah. So, yeah, and here we see all the, you know, all the music that was bought out for the song, which yeah. something that yeah. I always dislike it when they, ha you know, when they get like these big famous songs for movies. I'd be like, no, no look, go to like a no name band that no one's ever heard of and give them the exposure. So, uh, granted, so that's they do that because I know there's a abduction <laughs> which took place in Pittsburgh. Okay. Yeah. They actually used a like a well-known Pittsburgh band, but obviously isn't actually that big. They used yeah. them yeah. in a in a scene or two. Denora is in that is on that soundtrack. Yeah. 
No, I mean, sometimes they do. Don't get me wrong. I don't want to say that they never do because, like, you know, sometimes they do. Like what you said, they do. Uh, here we got the end credit scene, which. Samuel yeah. L. Jackson. Yeah. Where, where, People yeah. lost their crap with this. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Because I, I, I didn't see this opening night, but I was like this, like the day after. And oh my gosh, when this end credits scene, mind you, most people had walked out of the theater at this point. Because, yes, they didn't know. I mean, like, who does end credits? Yeah, scenes? Was, like, how do you yeah, know to stay before, after? Yeah, because this was before end credit scenes were actually a thing. Um, That's what I mean, I mean yeah. Like, and, I mean, Pirates of the Caribbean had them, but yeah, but this was really. I didn't worth. even know Pirates of the Caribbean had them until I bought them, like, watched them at home. And yeah, I saw yeah. that movie three times in the theater. Yeah. Which, mind you, there's there's a movie we should probably do sometime. But yeah, but yeah, I remember like me and the four other people who were there were like, "Holy shit, Samuel Jackson!" So, well, because right. people were just excited that like it was Nick Fury. They said Avengers. They're like, "Oh my god, they're gonna do it!" Because yeah. yeah. no one had ever like put that many superheroes together before. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah, it was you no know, getting the the Avengers was certainly a super ambitious project. Although it, yes. it it does bug me, it's like this is the most ambitious project ever. It's like not actually considering well, on the big screen like this. Because remember, like they thought at least five movies ahead with this, right? Yeah, like yeah. if Iron Man had failed, they wouldn't like they wouldn't have moved forward. But like, how many other movies have planned that far ahead and weren't a knee jerk reaction? Yeah, like. I mean, Batman was only a trilogy, and before the four Batman movies before that aren't really related, even though people kind of string them together. And mm. like, and it was still just Batman. Like, nobody's ever put multiple superheroes yeah. in a movie, a big screen movie before. Oh, and don't get me wrong; I don't mean to imply that it wasn't ambitious because it certainly was. But what I'm saying is that people are like, "This is the most ambitious film project ever." It's like not actually because most of it is you just have to coordinate with all the actors to make sure you can get them all all, all on screen. They at the same did time. that. DC yeah. still sucks at doing that, but Marvel, when they hired their actors, they put in their contracts yeah. they're going to be doing at least six movies yeah. among this. Like mm -hmm. they thought it through, and that's why it was yeah. impressive because they were. Well, gonna hired, well, mind you, they didn't sign all the all of them for like multi year contract because like Robert Downey Jr. He was only supposed to go through the first Avengers, but he just had a such a right. fun time. With well, that's it, what I mean. So like Robert Downey it's Jr. Th that's just it. That's still six films because <laughs> he had his three movies: the appearance in the Hulk, and then Avengers five movies. They yeah. signed him up because that appearance in the Hulk at the end counted as a cameo. Because mm -hmm. I know with yeah. um with Cap uh, Chris Evans, he also had six movies because he, he, yeah. he had his three movies plus mm -hmm. Avengers, and that one actually didn't include his cameo in Thor. That was like a yeah, yeah. they got him for. Yeah, that was yeah. He was just I think from what I understand, he was just like there on set, and they were like, "Why not? Just do it." Yeah. So. So, like, but that's why this was impressive because they knew they wanted to get so many movies out of this, assuming everything went well. Because again, if Iron Man had flopped, they wouldn't have yeah. even bothered. Well, they were in post production at the same time with um, uh, Hulk. Well, back then they were only <clears throat> well, they, they had two movies out, a year. Yeah, two thousand eight Hulk came out, so they were later in two thousand. <clears throat> yeah, because this one came out in May, and I think Hulk yeah. came out in November. Sounds about right. Now. I think it was November. It was November. It was towards the end. No, of the it year. may have even been the next year because Captain uh -huh. America came out when yeah, I was in Singapore, and that was 2011. Yeah, Hulk was 2008. I guarantee it. Oh, because then Iron Man two, and then Thor, and Captain America was the last one. Mm -hmm. But the timing I'll still doesn't that. add up. I, I, I'm ashamed that I look it up, and the first Hulk movie I find is the Eric Bana one. The 2003 which, one, yeah. Uh, Oh uh, yeah, that one. Yeah. That's what it's titled. That's right. It's 2008. It was 2008. Dang the what? Um, I'm trying to find the release. It, wow, it's June. June. It says June. Okay. What? It came out in June. Yeah, that's what it says. June 13th, 2008. Wow. For the Hulk. Yeah. I thought this came out in May. Am I it's wrong? For the Hulk, June 2008. June 13th, 2008. I'm looking at it right now. No, I know. I just. I oh my God, oh dear. <laughs> am kind of 
I'm a little surprised that I don't remember yes. when Iron Man well, came out in theaters. <clears throat> Iron Man was because I remember I watched the Iron Man. It was I was like it was my senior year of high school, and I, I watched it because I, I remember watching it was I literally going it's to a bunch May, of not May second two thousand eight. So they followed it right off the Hulk. Yeah. So yeah, and that would have been right remember, after I got out of uh, sophomore year of college. No, but I remember this. The no, day what? I watched it was okay. There's an open like I was like I said, it was my senior year of high school. I know. And there are a bunch of my classmates that in Singapore. Open houses. So, yeah. Or it was 2011 as well. So what happened in 2009 and 2010? Apparently nothing. <laughs> Granted, what up? What may what it may have been is this was like this was just them like testing the waters. Seeing if it was possible to get it done, then with these movies, Iron Man 2010. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know what's going to be easier? I, Avengers I Phase One. <clears throat> so Thank you. I was wondering. <clears throat> you have the Incredible Hulk, June. Yep. May Iron Man. This May second, twenty eleven is Thor. So nothing yeah, happened. So they took a, yeah, they took a. Oh, so you're right. Hours. They did. They they filmed. No, no, Iron Man two. Oh, yeah. Okay, but still, they filmed Iron Man and Hulk, and then stopped until they saw how they did, yeah. and so then this, they. So these movies Iron were just kind of like so testing the why nothing happened in 2009. So yeah, yep. that makes sense. So so that these movies. Were 2009 just like would have been yeah. spent filming the next three movies. Yeah, that makes sense. So yeah, so then this was just okay. We're testing the waters. Is there a market here? Yes. Okay, let's go. Verse. So yeah, that makes sense. So, so, yep, after successful years. opening weekend of Iron Man in May two thousand ten, two thousand eight, Marvel announced Iron Man two would be released on April thirtieth, twenty ten. Okay. And then Thor yeah. June fourth, twenty ten. And then I knew Captain America came out in twenty eleven. I yeah, watched they took a that huge hiatus though. Mm -hmm. I did. I, Captain America came out just when I first got to Singapore. Okay. It opened up in May of 2011. I just remembered watching it in Singapore by myself and being stuck yeah. by a dude and his like nine year old girl. And she was like asking questions the entire time. And it's the type of questions that like either the movie's going to answer or it's just not worth asking. Like, the yeah. whole like F four or whatever he got, she's like, "Oh, is there like an F one or like an F whatever?" And I'm like, "It, it, who cares? Yeah, what? you're I, at a theater. It's a mind you, theater. mind you, Shut mind up. you. It is a little kid, <laughs> mind yeah. you. Being it is a little kid, but still, you no, think it was the, a nine year old? Have been known better. Like she, yeah. she looked old enough to know that you're not supposed to talk at a theater. Yeah. And at the end of the movie, when like he gets frozen and the plane goes down, she goes, is he dead? And I just turned and I was like, keep watching and shut up. Yeah. <laughs> although, yeah, although, <laughs> although that reminds me of, um, of uh, the Shepherd book quote of like, you know, if you do this, you will go to the special hell that's reserved for child molesters, something else. And I'm people not saying that. I'm just saying this father, <laughs> Should have thought twice about taking his daughter to the movie. To yeah, a packed no movie opening weekend. Or maybe, yeah. I have told her. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. All right. So, yeah, that was Iron Man one. Um, like I said, it's still probably my favorite. Uh, probably my favorite of the Marvel movies. Granted, just be, just because when I remember seeing it, I was like, "This is awesome." <laughs> And yeah. all the other movies, that, don't get me wrong, I don't want to say the other movies are bad. It's just they don't hit the same levels for me. No, they don't. So, yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know. Incredible Hulk. Incredible Hulk's <laughs> not too bad. It gets a lot of flack, but I'm like, dude, I'll it's put an Incredible Hulk dude, above Iron Man 2 easy. Film. I'll put it above I will Iron say Man that, yeah. Even Iron Man no, 3. Just, like. No, here's here's my thing. Uh, Iron Man 2, up until Endgame, was my. Was, I don't want. It's not the worst movie I've ever seen, obviously, but it was the most disappointed movie I've ever saw. Where because I went in expecting so much, and I was just like, "That's it." Yeah, like, it's not a bad movie. Iron Man Two is not a bad movie, but it's just it's... okay. Iron Man was bad enough that I bought it because it was on sale for Never eight bucks it. the week it came out. Blu-ray, eight dollars. Never opened it. 
Like I bought it because it was such a good deal and I've never bothered opening it to watch well, it. The, well, here's what you do. You just save on to that and then like in, you know, in like 20 years, sell it for a hundred million dollars. Yep. Brand new <laughs> unopened. I've yeah. opened up X-Men 3, but I've never opened up Iron Man 2 or Spider-Man 3. I, <laughs> I don't, don't know why I, I bought them. <laughs> yeah, I don't have X-Men 3. I don't have any of the X-Men movies, honestly. Uh, oh, oh, those are movies. First probably X-Men gonna do. Was my favorite movie epic. ever. Exactly. That was pretty epic. And I still say if it weren't for that movie and how well it did, we wouldn't have Iron Man. I'd give you that. I'd need, I'd give you that, no doubt. Although that is kind of that is and, one the, thing. and the Tobey Maguire Spider Man movies. I think uh, oh, that yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. So although that is one thing I really regret because I mean it was a big deal when they got uh Spider Man into the MCU. It's like how I'm really I really, really wish they had managed to get Wolverine in there too. Come on, that would you cannot tell me seeing Hugh Jackman in the Avengers would not be awesome. Oh, yeah, but I it just wasn't well, I mean, it, it, like I don't know, so, it, it'd be so difficult because I mean, uh, oh god, who owns X Men? Uh, Fox, Fox? yeah, yes, yeah, Fox, okay, yeah, and so I don't think Fox would be willing to work to Disney to, to do that like Sony was with Spider Man, unfortunately. No, that's why Disney bought Fox, yeah. But still, but I mean, granted, that's another thing where it's like, I really, really, really wish because Disney owns Marvel. Disney used to own Power Rangers. I wish we had seen a crossover. You can know. You cannot tell me it would not have been awesome to see Power well, Rangers. You're gonna the laugh. That would have been terrible. That would only work on like a Saturday morning, like cartoon, I like, know. Not cartoon. But there's no way you're making a Power Rangers Marvel movie. And it's I not the key is crap. I think you could. I think you could. I the, the serious Power Rangers movie they just made didn't even do well. I like that movie. You're the it only one. Movie. I am the I only loved one. It. I loved it. Thank I you, Jacob. Movie. Yes. I mean, it had some it good was parts. So good. But it just it wasn't. Was so good. Okay, so clearly. I don't think it had the heart <laughs> of the TV show that it was supposed to be representing. But and that's why I'm a little worried about Mortal Kombat because <laughs> I actually want it to be cheesy. Because if they try to take it too seriously, I don't think it's going to do well. You realize they took the first Mortal Kombat way too seriously. That's why it's they awesome. took it so seriously that it went back to yeah. cheesy again. Yeah, 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 was... yeah that's the problem with the original Mortal Kombat. Is <laughs> they took it so seriously that it looped right back around. So, um, but no, uh, okay. So clearly, we are adding Power Rangers to the list. <laughs> Uh, we're going to be doing that sometime. I'm not going to force you to do it next week. We'll do, or uh, not, wh whenever we do the next one, we'll do whatever movie you want to do. I think you said you wanted to do the Laser Mission movie, but we'll let you do that one. You'll let you do the cheesy movie that you want to do, but then we're going to do the cheesy movie that I want to do. Deal? That's fair. Yeah. 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 yeah no, it's it's a legitimately decent film. I think it could have been well, better. Oh, of course it could have been better. Of course it could have been better. Everything I watch could be better. I mean, yeah. yes. I just, I don't know. I just, So Power Rangers, I felt like it wasn't, it was too old to hit the audience that watches a TV show, but didn't quite reach the level of like people my age. But apparently it did because you liked it. So I don't know. I, I just, I thought it was just awkward and didn't yeah. quite. You remember? I that, that remind me because... Okay, so then I take it back. So the people like me who grew up with the original Power Rangers, like it wasn't quite dark enough. I'll put it that way. And then for the current that, kids watching Power Rangers, they can't enjoy that movie either because it's too it's too dark. Yeah. Wait, Although that true. reminds me, there was a whole I was an entire grew up with it. Oh yeah, no, but I mean they're still appealing to you know thirteen year old kids. Yeah, but the show Ranger... no, the show appeals to five year olds, dude. Yeah. 13 year olds the, are too yeah, cool. The show was very much for young kids. You watch Power Rangers. Yeah. So, no, but I, but I do remember because uh, that movie came, came out. Cool for it. No, no, it was never cool. Too cool. Well, okay, I might have been. Mostly it was I have an older brother that controlled the remote. And he would have been 18, and there was no yeah, way my, you my were watching, not watching Power Rangers. Power Rangers. Yeah. I watched what he watched. Why? He was tougher than I was. That's, yeah. Well, I mean, growing up, I wasn't allowed to watch cartoons. I was only allowed to watch things with real people. So most of the cart, like, so most of the, like, I watched Hogan's Heroes growing up. The only thing that that was a kid show that I actually got to watch was Power Rangers. So I was gonna say there were so many live action like kid 
shows that were just as cheesy and or worse than the cartoons. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't there really was Power Rangers, really wrong, you know. and there was Goosebumps, and there was Beetleborgs, Beetleborgs. I don't even know. It was weird. I, I saw that for like the two, I saw that for a little bit, but it was, it was that terrible. One was just, no one the watched kids it. Young. Power the kids, Rangers no, is cooler. Yeah, no. The my issue with Beetleborgs is that they have these legit kids, and these kids are not good actors. Oh, I, I mean, so my dad watched Aliens with us. The mom wasn't watch home. Aliens for one of these snark fests. Oh my God. That is an epic like, what, game. Alien? Aliens, what, what, the sequel, the better one. Yeah, not Alien or Alien Three. Anyway, Alien. it's getting a little late. So, Laser Mission, Power Rangers, oh, yeah. Aliens. Yeah. Some point so, we'll get back to Star Wars. Yeah, some yeah, maybe. <laughs> no, <laughs> but before we hang up, I did want to mention because I was trying to say this earlier. I remember when Power Rangers came out. That was pretty much right around the same time that the first Godzilla movie came out. And I wrote an entire essay about how why Power Rangers works and Godzilla didn't. And unfortunately, that got deleted when I had my complete breakdown, and I didn't. So I didn't save it. I've looked through my email so many times that I don't have it. Unfortunately. I, I really think I should probably rewrite it. <laughs> well, it's well, in, in the gist of it is that they're both character movies. Because yeah, the first no, guy, I was just trying to think. I like the second Power Rangers movie. No, the the two thousand the two thousand the most recent one the uh, Ooh, one with okay, gotcha, gotcha, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, the the gist of the argument is okay. Why did why did one movie fail? And why did the other movie didn't? And the reason is, and like I said, the gist of it is that these are both character movies. The problem is that Godzilla's characters sucked and were basically wooden planks versus Power Rangers. These were actual people. And you actually, you know, they actually, you know, they, you actually care about them. So that, that's, I mean, like I said, it was a long article, but that was the general gist of it. Yeah, I'm so, not into Godzilla. I've never seen if, it. So if I, if work I, for it. Like I said, I, del I, I deleted it and I can't one. find it. The 2014? There's only 2017? I don't know. I haven't seen like it. I said, it, it. Like I said, it, that article I wrote that before before my, before my Kendra passed away, and then like, I, like I've told you before, when Kendra passed away, I deleted everything I had. I wiped my computer clean. I deleted everything just because every saw every time I saw a picture of her, it hurt like hell. So I just so I just deleted everything. And trust me, that's my biggest regrets because I don't have any pictures of her at all now, and I hate that. Yeah. But but like I said, that was one of the articles that I had written that got completely erased because you know I just deleted everything and I. I mean, like I said, there are. I might be able to find it on a website or two, but I can't. But I don't think I can. Like I said, I've looked through, and I don't think I can find it. But I'll, I'll double check. Maybe I'll get lucky. Like I said, it's a long article, but I don't think I have it anymore. So that's all right. Um, but yeah, okay. We should probably get going because it is now ten thirty. So <laughs> yeah. thank you everybody for watching our little impromptu. Um, we'll be back probably. I think we're like the thirteenth because I have yeah, the thirteenth. We'll yeah. 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 So, and we'll do laser mixtion next because I know you wanted, yeah, you wanted I love to do a cheesy, cast. terrible movies, yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, it's an 80s cheesy movie. And so, yeah, and I know how much it. <laughs> Fair enough. So, thank you everybody for watching. Good night. <laughs>